And if we talk, now 500,000 they go summer us, call them hate speech. But fear not, my ego don't come. In go touch light every corner, nooks and cranny of all these bad, bad people where they spoil our country. <laughs> so my people make me laugh. Okay, some people be they hala say they want the power. Chai. Them be promise us say we go get light and power. Nah, nah. Them hustle so they so they they can't get the power. Hmm. But now they know they do anything with the power. Sheer. Every day dollar just they get the higher power. Over naira, see them talk say make we off mind. But then go say my ego don't come. So my people make you lie down. Oh, yeah, yeah. They do even no one make person talk. Hmm. Them say that my egun, that man too they talk. He too they talk. Say my egun diary, he they hot like pepper. But every day then they take money in buck. Woman picking they the street they hawk. Still them talk say make we no talk. But thank God say my egun don't come. So my people make you laugh. Oh yeah yeah, my egun don't come. Oh yeah yeah. I need really sorry about that. The sound was off, yeah? I The picture you had on the screen earlier, I was... Uh, telling you behind the you know the behind the scene that you should pay attention to the names of the officers of the nigerian army 
that uh, were allegedly healed at uh, Okwama in Delta States. <laughs> The audio should be back now. Mazi Namdikanu was in uh, their court today uh, to, you know, uh, hear the final decision on uh, his bill application. And as usual, eh? They denied him the bail, which means they are still keeping him illegally. Mark that. Now, Motibe. So, good morning to you once again. Good afternoon to you, and good evening to you from wherever you are watching from. It is Mayegun General Live, right? And it is our midday uh, session, which also happened to be the moment we are covering uh, the court proceeding today between the leader of the IPOB, indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Namdekanu, the prisoner of, I mean, sorry, the prisoner of a conscience, the man that Nigeria continued to hold illegally. When their Supreme Court said, holding Namdekanu, uh, you know, or kidnapping him, the process at which he was uh, brought back to Nigeria was totally you know, wrong, illegal, in a nutshell. Uh, the attempt on his life when the Nigerian army, yes, Nigerian army, mobilized the Akila uh, terrorist squad uh, into Namdekanu's home with uh, one single intention, to kill him. So when he managed to escape uh, the assassin's bullets, he was declared wanted. So he was unable to attend any court proceeding and therefore any revocation of his bail was totally wrong. And they were told to go back to that same court and have that fixed and possibly go for a retrial, something like that. Now they've denied that today. And some said, expectedly, we knew they would. They would deny uh, Namdekanu's uh, uh, his freedom. Even if they would finally grant him that bail, eh, it will likely come with uh, some ridiculous, stringent uh, conditions that will be mostly laughable. Conditions that indeed will make them uh, just waiting or be in the waiting, right? On, uh, I mean, for how long he's going to be walking free before he will be dragged back into their hell hole. So, they denied him, I mean, they denied him uh, his bail today, but he was in that court. We're going to take that off soon, okay? Now let's go inside that court before all of that, right? This morning. <laughs> it should be on this side. You are feeling this there. <laughs> go to this side. <laughs> it's better. Telling you, cotton is here.
And I think I have a better one. The one where he was having a chat with uh, his own lawyers. This one. Yes. What was the problem? Why? Uh, they didn't. They didn't give me any outfits. They didn't give any outfits. So, as much as we are all watching injustice play out right before our very eyes, and some of us are actually really busy justifying it. He was asking for a referendum. Ask these people to defend themselves. Rise and defend yourselves. Demand for the peaceful dissolution of Nigeria, starting with uh, a referendum where the people will decide if they still want to be part of Nigeria or not. These are his demands, his position, that Nigeria under Bokwari decided to criminalize thousands of people have been killed by the government of nigeria thousands of Igbos have been secretly slaughtered massacred across Igbo land and across nigeria all for that singular request and that is him there he's been with them for over two years now I think it's probably like almost uh, three years now that they have uh, kidnapped him and locked him up in their own uh, dinghy. They've disobeyed their own court severally. Right there since they have, they've been holding him, Nigeria has already run into indebtedness of over 10 billion naira to be paid to him. Of course, people believe that they will never pay that anyway. But just so you know how wrong they have been. Bokwari was keeping him like a trophy. Yes, I, I, I mean, I kidnapped him, yes. So, yes, I broke international laws. So, I, 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 I mean, I kidnapped him, he's there. I know where he is, like a trophy, not because of law, not because of justice. Somebody you declared wanted, accused him of so many things, including lying. To the Kenyan uh, authorities that he is a terrorist, he is dear to meet terrorists and the rest of that, when they found that they were all lies, you both broke uh, international laws and Kenya quickly washed their hands. That no, they were not aware. They never they were not aware that Nigeria kidnapped him from their country. And yet, since he's been in their custody, all of the evidence. All the things you have read in the media, especially those of you from northern Nigeria, the Sharia North, uh -huh. all the things that you have read about Namdekanu, he did this, he did that, he was doing this, he was doing that. He has been in the custody of the Nigeria criminal government illegally, and yet your own courts. You could not present a single evidence. Rather, they will be demanding for an adjournment, an adjournment, or they will choose not to even come to court at all. And they call it the delay tactic. Delay tactics is not justice. And injustice is the reason why Nigeria will break up. You cannot sustain a country that is a contraption where people are forced to, to live in with no single right of dias, no voice, no nothing. Hmm. 
the injustice is what will break up Nigeria. And somehow, somehow, the criminal politicians who were, were they were there, and they were one Nigerianist, one Nigerianist, until they are no longer there. Now they are talking about same thing that they are locking Unamdekanu up for, hunting Igbos for, and then uh, profiling and persecuting them, and persecuting them for. Now we have some of them now who are now coming together. They call themselves patriots, asking for a uh, detraction of uh, the 1999 constitution, right? That fraudulent book, Decree 24. The military decree 24, right? That it should be trashed. Nigeria should have a national confab and indeed should have a new constitution. Inside that constitution, there should be a referendum there. I swear they call themselves uh, the patriots. We'll come back to them. You see that uh, Oku, I mean, o, uh, Okwama community that has been accused of killing the Nigerian soldiers and the Sharia jihadist murderers from northern Nigeria, eh, they are asking for the wiping out, wiping out of the entire community and kill all of them, including men, I mean, women and children. Now, I want to give you another, uh, you know, it's, it's sort of another context now to the old drama. A lot of us, like I said last night, uh, you were not told that uh, the Nigerian military Eh, they are operating a bunkery oil smuggling operation on the river of that axis, Okoloba, Okwoma, I mean, Okwama, and the rest of them, right? So the Nigerian military, the Nigerian soldiers, they are operating oil bunkery, stealing of crude oil, Nigerian crude oil through that axis. You were not told that, okay? And also, you were not told that the killings, actually started from the 12th of March, three days before the breaking news that 16 soldiers were killed. The battle that killed all the soldiers, they were actually not the battle of uh, Okoma people because, I mean, they have been saying, right, that uh, the, the level of armory that the Nigerian soldiers control in that axis, eh, it was more or less like uh, the Okoma people uh, more like they needed to leave or go for the business, for the illegal oil bunker business of the Nigerian army in that axis eh, to keep flowing. You were never told that. You weren't told that they killed over 100 people already in that community. Even before Tifnubu would tell them to go and they kill everybody. Even before you, the murderous uh, jihadists from uh, northern Nigeria, before you started asking your brothers, to go into those communities and kill women and kill children. Do you remember when I said that you do not, well, somebody said you do not have a military in Nigeria. You do not have soldiers. You only have uh, some ragtag uniform thugs, criminals with guns. Well, here is the twist. In Nigeria, the reason why it is easier for them to carry out all these killings, genocides, uh, ethnic cleansings, and then deny it, eh? is because you do not have an army. Nigeria does not have an army. Nigeria have hired thugs. Eh? That they, were, they have been, I mean, they gave a uniform to. Honestly speaking, it will shock you. Or it's supposed not to shock you. Do you know that the reason why it is easier for a, a soldier to open fire on the supposed fellow Nigerians, eh? It's only if they do not have any connection to that place at all. Like all the nationalities that are currently currently trapped in that contraption, Nigeria, right now, we are like a na we are like nations on our own. It is the fusing and forcing together. Uh, you know, nations that were supposed to be on their own, forcing them together in a single place where we don't speak the same language, but yet you want us to live in peace. Here you get now. Now you bring, bring about uh, this fake army you have. Oh, you do not have army in Nigeria. You know what, they, what you have? Murderers in uniform. Then you can now see one, two, three of them that will just be like, I'm God-fearing. There is no God-fearing murderer. Okay? Nigerian army. 
eh, when they want to perpetuate ethnic cleansing in Igbo land, they will send the Fulanese, Awusas, who are Muslims, who have already seen the people of southern Nigeria as infidels. And those who were raised that if they kill Inyamiri, if they kill a, an Igbo man or an Igbo woman, it's actually a blessing on the side, and you'll be doing a favor to your to your own uh, tribesmen or your own ethnic uh, nationality. Fulani, Ausa. Take a look at this screen, guys. This is why it is easier for them to enter any community and murder women mother children and a lot of you will be wondering are they not supposed to be professional army they are not they are murderers and this is why so they will send the yorubas and igbos eh with a mix of uh, maybe awusas they will send them to to go and fight boko haram sometimes they sacrifice them by telling those murderers those uh, uh, you know terrorists to ambush them and kill them by just giving their information to the terrorist in Yoruba land, which is the southwest part of Nigeria, they will bring Gausa, they will bring Fulani, and they will add a sprinkle of uh, Yoruba and Igbo to them, and they will bring them to Yoruba land. Those ones are there to kill anybody who is trying to act like they have some civil rights. It's now in a small time. Now, now they go to TV. Now, now they go to press. Now, now they call for protest. Now, now they call for revolution. All of you from Yoruba land. So they will bring Aousas, Fulanis, Kanuris, uh, Tifis, and all of those places. They will bring them down to Yoruba land. Any small thing, fire for fire, kill anybody. They do not speak your language. They do not have any connection to you. Then the Igbo land, eh? they will carry Aousas, Fulani, Tifis, uh, Jokons, uh, Berums, and the rest of the and Yorubas. They will now sprinkle that with the little Yoruba and some little maybe South, South Niger Delta people. Ijo, Kanuri, you know what I mean? They will put them all, all in. And so, yeah, go to the Eastern Nigeria. And those are the ones that will tell you they are only obeying others. We are just soldiers that will obey others. Others to kill women and children, harmless women and children, burn properties. It's because somehow, somehow, you may be championing the cause of your own uh, ancestors who already saw them as infidels anyway. Take a look at this. The uh, leader, the leader of these uh, criminals, ignored that rest in peace, our fallen heroes on the top. Oh. Now the Nigerian military put them out. Oh. So, sure you get me now. And I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. See my face. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. You get? Don't come here and tell me, respect the dead. Too much shock, but not by that, no. Sure you understand now? You see these guys that you are seeing their images, their leaders, the major and the rest of them, before they told you that they have killed 16 soldiers, or they have killed 16 uh, Nigerian army officers, these murderers have already killed over 100 people in those communities. Over 100 people, including women and children. So you get. Uh, and don't, don't pretend that you haven't seen some of the images. So I may not be able to show you those images because they are too graphic, too gory to share. But just go on Facebook, go on Twitter. Go on uh, the same Google and type in the, the murdered the victim of uh, Oklahoma, the murdered victims of uh, the Bayesa invasion, and you see these murderers and ask yourself, what were they doing there? What were they? Who gave them the order to go into that place, Abi? But here is why they are able to burn properties. This is why it is easier for them to kill and kill innocent people in the name of, eh? Here, see their names. Their leader is called Colonel Ali. The major, the two major majors that died, he one is called Major Shafa. Another one is called Major Obi. This one that they call Obi, no me saying be Igbo, but let's just give it the benefit of doubt too. Now see them, Captain Zakari, eh? Sergeant Yayasa, he do. Eh? Captain Taha, uh, which, which one of this? Taya, Taya Dan, Dan, Baba, Dan Baba, Kabiru Bashir, Bulu Zaruno, eh? Shole Okoyemi, this one no, no be Yoruba, but at least let's give him a pass. Shole, Talonja Shole, Abi Sole in Yoruba land. What is Sole? What is Sole? What is Soul in Yoruba land? Eh? Which Yoruba name is Sole? Abi Nashola. 
Anyway, here is another one. Belu Anas. Aman Peter. Eh? Maybe they don't grab this one from, uh, what do you call it? From the middle belt. Abi? Here is another one. Ibrahim Abdullahi. Alaji. Ha. Abi Alaji, sir. Here is another one. Clement Francis. Abubakar Ali. Ibrahim Adamu. Adamu Ibrahim. Ibrahim Adamu. Adamu Ibrahim. Anyway, the point I'm trying to bring out there for you is that what are these officers doing in the creek of Niger Delta? What do you think they should be doing in the creek? Do they even have a clue of the, the creek of Niger Delta? It is because the mission they are carrying out there is not Nigeria's mission. If they are to carry out any mission that is that of Nigeria, it will be with the area they grew up. I grew up in Odogolu. If I join the army and I'm supposed to serve anywhere, it is better you station me at Ilese. Ilese is not far from Odogolu. Ilese is not far from Ijebu. Ilese means I am from Ijebu. I know everybody around the Ijebu area. As a soldier, if I have to defend that part of my own uh, you know, portion, I will defend it with every breath in me because I, I possibly will know half of the people living in the area. So what is Yaya doing in uh, uh, Okwama or in Bayelsa? Eh? He's a Nigerian soldier. He can be anywhere. You are still not getting the message, Abi. Eh? You are still not getting it. Your own brothers and sisters that grew up right there, who know the terrain of the southern Nigeria, they are sending them to the Sambisa. They are sending them to the war front in uh, Borono. They are being slaughtered every day. The saddest part, we say, there are many families right now in the southern part of Nigeria who believe that their own, father, their own children, their sons, they are still fighting Boko Haram, but they don't kill your children. They have killed your sons. This is how horrible. I covered that sometimes uh, last year. Eh? Where Nigeria will never even tell the, uh, the families of the slain soldiers that their children, I mean, their sons have died. And they are still there, hoping, thinking they are there fighting Boko Haram. So we all know why you do not have any uh, soldiers in Nigeria. And we also know why that uh, there will be no investigation about anything at all since uh, they have once told us uh, if uh, a Boko Haram can repent, they can be the president of Nigeria. Abeti Bagbe, have you forgotten? Boko Haram should lay their arms unconditionally and be accepted in the community. Opportunities are out there for them. They can be rehabilitated. An ex-Boko Haram stands having laid his arms and comes back, turns his way away from the, his negativity. He stands to be a president of this country. He stands to aspire to any position in this country. Why is he wasting his time when he cannot even deliver? We will do that. But we have appealed to them, including their detractors, I mean their collaborators, to see reason to as fast as possible, quickly drop their arms so that we can once again reoccupy our peaceful position in Nigeria. It appears like the same script all over again. Let me just take a reaction on social media. This is from Sumto, who wrote, Nigerian soldiers still on revenge mission. Another community set ablaze by Nigeria Army in Delta State. Meanwhile, in the north, Boko Haram terrorists are granted amnesty. Fulani headsmen are protected by the government. Bandits are getting paid and rehabilitated. These are criminals and terrorists responsible for the deaths of thousands of Nigerians, including Nigerian soldiers and police officers. It's only in the southeast and the south-south that the Nigerian military goes on revenge missions. Why not go after the perpetrators and leave innocent civilians out of this? Why burning down the whole community? You see, Rufai, there, there is already the ethnic tone, yeah. which is actually re-echoed on social okay. media. I want Boko Haram. Why won't it echo and re-echo? When the supposed uh, officer of the Nigerian army publicly told the media that a repentant Boko Haram can become your president, and he didn't even flinch, and there are mad people that agreed. Yes, now, uh -huh. 
at least if, if they have repented and he go back to school and he, he can be a house of rep member, he can be a lawmaker, he can be a governor. Ah, Baba, I did the same country with people where they think like that. Oh, everywhere where you see me, you are supposed to give me a hug. See, listen to me if you are a non Nigerian watching me right now, wherever you see Nigerians, okay. I'm not talking about uh, those ones that are, uh, uh, you know, proud Nigerians from abroad. Those are useless ones, okay? I'm talking about, you know, real people who are like the victims of the contraption. If you see anybody that you know that, okay, well, this one, you know, then give them a hug. You need to give them a hug and just be like, ah, you have been through a lot, too. You are going through a lot, too. Are you also living in that country where uh, people said, if Numbu convinced them, and that is why they believe that if Numbu will change Nigeria and they voted for him, are you from that country? Say yes. Are you from that country where uh, your criminal politicians uh, believe that, uh, what do you call it, Binance is the reason why your Naira is falling? So if they can arrest some of them and find them and collect some billion dollars a fine, Nigeria Naira will regain its strength. Are you from that country? Say yes, I am. Ah, la, 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 la. Are you from that country where they said uh, repentant uh, terrorists can become your president? Where well, one did actually become the president of Nigeria. But yes, I'm also from that place. So come here, come. come. Uh, you need a hug. You are going through a lot. Oh, dear. You are going through a lot. You are from that country, yeah? Say, yes, I'm from there. Oh, no. There were wearies who said it was actually a great idea. That the man knew what he's talking about. Murderers. Terrorists. Once they lay down there. That's why I told you. Majority of you were asking for military coup. Uh, my hand no deal. Because now so now they ask for military, military coup, military coup. Now so one terrorist go take over. Eh? Finally. But that is that. So talking about uh, the disjointed and uh, misplaced uh, contraption called uh, Nigeria, there are those who are gathered and they call themselves patriots. Have you heard about them? Man, you got to see some of the clowns. They are like former this, former that, former this, former that. The real contributors to where Nigeria is today are those who enabled them and their friends now they feel like nigeria should uh, have a new constitution and have a, refer a referendum in it and the reason why i knew that perfect buy again i want restructuring uh crooners you know i want restructuring campaigners i'm advocating you know right is one of them don't shout up, Pasha, but they say they are the patriots. Listen to them. They use the occasion in honor of the memory of the late renowned constitutional lawyer, Ben Mwabeze, to address the current challenges faced in the country. The present 1999 constitution as amended not only lacks the legitimacy that flows from a democratically made constitution, has proved to be unsuitable for tackling many of the serious challenges currently confronting our country. Federalism, true federalism, they give them power, they won't do anything. True federalism will die. Is there any true federalism again in South South? Now they cocaine. You not come, the political president. Any change? Professor Mike Ezekome, SAN. In a keynote, raised some fundamental questions bordering on the referendum, which he explained will allow the people make their inputs rather than the 1999 constitution imposed on them by the military. Nigerians must own their own constitution through a popular referendum of the people, like was done to the Midwest constitution on the 10th of August 1963 when it separated from Western region. Without that, 
we will just be on a journey to no destination. In reaching a common ground, it was unanimously agreed by the dignitaries present that there is a need to set the template for a constitutional amendment by interfacing with the National Assembly members to pass a bill on establishing a National Referendum Commission, which President Bola Ahmed Tinubu can assent to. There is therefore a dire need for a people-oriented constitution which will be subjected to a national referendum and will be self-enforcing. For the National Assembly to set up, to constitute a law, a simple law, where the people will come together and make those amendments for themselves. We can promulgate or enact a law now. In any case, we did it when we had doctrine of university. It is the belief of the party. New Zans Lele. New Zans Lele. Are you with me? Did you see those verses? Ubima I mean, Ubima Judas Iscariot wrote if me. Amochi was there. Irokunle Oma Moshi. Amosunogun was there. Kayo de fire me there. Aregbe Mungbo Baba Kabiru there. Eh, Tambuwa there. Abina Tambolo. Eh, who else? Did you see James Ibori? He was there. They were honoring Ben Wabwese. I just kind of because they mentioned referendum. You know, say me, anyway, a referendum. I want to hear what are they saying about it. So, yeah, what did you say about referendum? Unfortunately, it was the clowns and the thieves that are brainstorming. It's almost nothing. But this is what Arekbe Mbubaba Kabiru told the audience. Just talking it. The first motion is, a, is, is about democratic representation. We have been talking about form of government, constitution. How do we elect people to the parliament? Yes, globally, what we have is what we do in Nigeria. I see a fault. I see an error in it. People are elected based on residence. And if we give with modern life, we are disconnected. Yes, in the traditional society, residence will be a forum of a relationship, of engagement. In modern life, it is not. We are united more by production, through production. So, in therefore seeking appropriate democratic representation, let us look at production as the basis of representation. That's my first solution. I mean, I mean, I'm not an expert on both sides, but I will do that. And we have a best form of presentation. The answer is no. People are engaged more in production. In the platform, let us seek out to define a way of presentation that will ensure that productivity, production, productive act, and those engaged in production in several forms, services, the second submission of this matter is simple. It has it's been said that it has not been put forcibly. What is it? It is an Nigeria survive executive presidential system. My answer is capital no. Let us agree on parliamentary system. As for what form, we have different forms of parliamentary system. We have absolute parliamentary system for the British. Now let us go and we have parliamentary, I mean parliamentary system of government or parliamentary and uh, yeah, parliamentary system of government. <laughs> Yeah, that was somebody who was uh, going up for eight years, ran a state aground. Uh, that is uh, Oshun State. Changed the name of the state so that uh, to get uh, the debtors, you know, the people where they borrow their money, to get them confused. Aregbe Mugbana Babaka Biru borrowed money with in the name of Oshun State. By the time the lenders came to come and collect their money, 
Oshun said, don't change to state of Oshun. So lenders were confused. The document says Oshun State, 300 billion naira. Sorry, please, where is the way to Oshun State? They say, ah, Oshun State, no day again, now state of Oshun Day now. They say, but uh, the governor is Mr. Rauf Aregbe Mugbo. Say, no, he is now Ogbeni, Ogbeni Rauf. Ah, Rauf. We are changing him. Now, the only person who scam, scam, I mean, who scam uh, lenders who can't run away, expect uh, his own uh, people to live with it. Baba, first person to introduce half salary. Me, I have salary in my life, nobody. Until Direct Ben Mugbana became their governor, gave them a point more. And then, uh, you know, all that stuff, right? I'm always receiving some half salary far away. All more people they praise them. Now, some people they tell me, say, My Yagun, you don't understand. If you don't understand something, just, just let us explain to yourself. Explain to me. Half salary. Simply because your state is so in, I mean, in so much a debt that all the allocation that comes to your state does not come anymore. They go straight to the pocket of the lenders. Now, you are subjected to collecting half salary. That's where you will know that Nigerians are special people. Special people. A few days ago, there was a publication where they said the food inflation in Nigeria, how they affect regions and states. So the Southeast Nigeria food inflation affects them by 28%. The Southwest Nigeria food inflation affects us by 31%, which means food are more expensive in Yoruba land than in Enigbo land, right? Who do you know like that? They shall did all of that. Or um, they can't do the state by state in Southwest. At the top of that chart, Oshun states have the highest cost of uh, food inflation in Yoruba land at 33 point something percent. Or um, I saw one Oshun boy jump there and say, Ah, Oshun, you really like Okay, Tente, Oshun, look at Tente, you know, Oshun, wa That they are the number one. We had the poverty. We're actually hitting people more. You see all this complaint that where everybody is complaining, lamenting. It's different. So it get great everywhere. Sure you get in Yoruba land now for Oshun State, a tough pass. And people keep wondering why. Now, so one Oshun boy jumped there and said, Oshun Latente, look, look at number one. That's part of what they have done to us. Here you get now. So I have seen people who have been telling who have told me. I say, uh, you shouldn't have salary you the college. Yes, I am proud. I am I'm proud of our Ogbeni. What Ogbeni has done for our state, nobody has ever done that in our life. Ogbeni did kini kokini ka say, eh? Say yes. All of you outside that from Oshun say you don't understand. You don't understand how we ended up collecting half salary. The half salary they didn't even pay them to, as well. Oh. Long story, Sha long. At the end of the day, Aregbe Mugo Baba Kabiru. Is now the advocate for referendum, new constitution, parliamentary system of government. In this world, you didn't hear you know, in this life, you know. Ah, you go see. Chebi, you heard them mention Nadeko, Amochi, that is said you will be my Judas Iscariot, the one that emptied the pockets, I mean, the wallet of a river state government to bring Bokuari to power. The guy that came second to Tifnumbu and it was pretty much like it was even it was never part of their presidential primary. The man that was so close to becoming APC, Egbek Egbe's presidential candidate, Ubima Judas Iscariot, Rotif Mia Mochi. Now he's there too, talking about we was all lie, all lies. Well, I saw them and I said, since they mentioned the referendum, before they before they commercialize this thing now, because they go soon commercialize them. They go soon, they do meeting here and there. Eh? Can you defy me? Eight years governor in Ekiti. After five years, Ekiti people, they sell vote on credit. But I'm unique back below you. I will tell my children. And say, oh, mom, I'm going to go to What is that, daddy? People, they sell their vote. You know, when I was growing up, right? People sell their vote and collect money. 100 naira, 200 naira, 500 naira, 1,000 naira, wrapper, salt, sugar, you know, Fanta. 
and they sell their vote for four years. But I've never seen people who sold their own vote on credit. Like, you know what, LOD, we'll give all of you 1,000 error. How many are you? How many are you? Uh, we, are, we are 50. 50, that's 50,000. We are go and vote and come back. Uh, we'll do it on credit. Once the money is available, we'll pay you. But they don't pay them till today. AKT, that where Fayemi was their governor, is the poorest state in Yoruba land. AKT. And they will tell you, this is supposed to be a place where every household, every family, then get professor die. You know that way, AKT, they brag about professor until INEC of Nigeria came and we started seeing uh, professors when no few read on, on, on national TV. Professor will write result. Professor writes, see, professor wrote result of election. Now for the professor to now announce that result on TV, problem. Illiterate professor, you go call them, but they are not illiterate now, corruption. Corruption will blind you, become blind. You can't see clearly anymore. Here you get. That was where Fayemi came from. Oh. And this was supposed to be those who are, you see what they do right now? Eh? That time, Fayemi and his gang, that's what they were doing in London. But it's a different one because their own was like pretty much like you know funded with a drug money. Tifnumbu said drug money and others because there was an end goal. Here you get Abiola must be made there, the president. Story is long ago, but now 11th hour. The likes of Fire Me want to tell us that uh, we need a parliamentary system of government. Eight years governor, eight years okay, maybe four years uh, minister. What else again? Uh, they are sure there, sha. Whatever it is, I promise that you should not just overlook them more. Because you know, some of you who have been saying uh, this issue of uh, let's break up and break up. Now, is it not this same set of people that will come and control the new countries? And now, yeah, yeah, yeah. you see, this is how they end up controlling the new countries. So. Even though it's not going to happen. I'm, I'm a parawani. That's the last thing that these people will happen, right? I'm a parawani. Last thing. But here, yeah. once they begin to organize meetings and they begin to pick on our own uh, advocacies here and there, you know, they have the money. They have already amassed the money. The money they have can bring any government down. Do you understand that now? So, what they do is that they, they are going to warm themselves straight into our, our hearts again because Abba, they organize a symposium eh? and at that symposium it is the conversation around new constitution referendum and how the young people will have to begin the mobilization in fact there is a name for this uh, arrangement it's called Abba Jowo together and together and and the, the key speaker, or other people who are part of it, they are your former looters, former governors, former ministers, former criminals that you knew. And they are there. And you believe that ah, at least they are now with us. Now, this team is strong. That's how they end up uh, taking over any new country. You eventually, because they will, be, they will become people who play key roles. That's how they, they, they insertiate themselves into the picture. Abi? People will destroy Nigeria. They do meeting to discuss that Nigeria is destroyed. And for Nigeria not to be destroyed, they have a new idea. Hear that idea? I'm not going to appeal to some of you. When you attend this meeting, attend that soft, uh, this one, that one, and then you, you meet Zarek Ben there. You are meeting all these rogues there. But they speak so well. They take pictures, they sign autographs and say, we need to rescue our country. They even come before you and say, I am one of those who, who destroyed this country, but we must do everything to ensure that uh, we get ourselves. And you say, oh, 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 wow. I didn't know this. He's such a very brilliant man, Sha. I did not know that Amosun is such a very, very calm human being. I met him at a symposium organized for the Guinea that so that they do. Anyway, about the real one, who they greet them. Imagine, yes, she be with it now. Uh -uh. Yeah. We all agree, yes, say, uh, everywhere you see them, or when you get your chance, so tear their clothes if you can. And I got a message after that. I said, Maya, um, do you mind? You need to tell people that you didn't mean it, okay? So they won't say, you know, you're asking people to slap anybody where they tell them, see me them put for Nigeria. 
you know, just just maybe you should just tell your friends. I tell everybody that you didn't mean violence. Say, Baba, that we are confessing we no sunny be no passes because of uh, YouTube. We knew it's not because of uh, what do you call it? it's not because of these rogues or any of the lawlessness that that we know in Nigeria. I uh, know just one call you can they shout like oh yeah go on ele won e sha won e ba dire won e bu won so wherever you say yeah shook them punch them and all of the fire come you can they say that one eh we go they get issue they said that you will see me this week you won't see me next week you see me next week you won't see me the upper week and we don't like that so there are ways we can deliver the message that I don't have to use all my mouth to say it baba the boss didn't work at the bomb alone juni you get me no, they catch feelings for, for your oppressors simply because they seem to be aligning with you again. No. These are sharks. These are hawks. I'm talking about these are dangerous animals. And they are animals. Here you get. So I don't have to come here and tell you. You know what to do if you can. Look around, look around, look around. Eh? Your fall down, then fall down. Come like you have a concussion or you have a what is that thing called again? Giri. Giri to my There's there's something called giri. Sure, you get you see Aregbe Mugbo. Aregbe Mugbo is there and all of that, eh? Lowly more glasses say Lu Jen as Aregbe Mugbo get glasses for it, eh? You actually been to fake kini. Ah, thank you so much. Ah, sorry. Can I take a vision? I fold you a more glass in your cell of the light. Bye. Eh? Then you fall down. Now people go to try to rescue you. By then, glass you want to do tear until you wipe to my below. I don't need to tell you. Oh, here you go. I don't suppose they tell you everything. So, yeah. When you see these rogues, this is how they try to insertiate themselves back into your space. And you go come, they say, ah, he's so calm now. Oh, I can't believe he's such a... Eh? Ah, Omo, you won't believe it, oh. I saw Amechi yesterday. If you see how humble, so then, yeah, what do you want making they do? Eh? You want Amechi to begin what? To begin, they say, oh, please. Now you go show them, say, oh, see, yeah. So, yeah. But not do anything, maybe say, no go, no go hit uh, somebody. Maybe say if he if he grab you back, he himself is alone to beat you up. Oh, my aunt know that one. No, oh. look well, well before you try anything. But the point here is this: they are going to be forming. They even call themselves patriots, Baba. People will looted Nigeria in their different capacity. They call themselves patriots, patriotic, patriotic people. I write. <laughs> I will ask. Uh, just reason. So what I'm trying to say is that uh, do not make yourself suscept I mean, susceptible to uh, their manipulation. Okay. Do not. No. Do not. Do not think that they are not also reading the room. If the if the the momentum, if the momentum for self determination becomes so so undeniable anymore you will see your politicians that will join us yes they will join us somebody sent me a message and said uh, Mayegun, uh what about the yoruba i mean the fulanis that are already speaking yoruba so this uh, conference you want to uh, host in glasgow in august how are you going to differentiate with uh, uh, yoruba who is fulani but I'm going to tell you something. Eh? Majority of Yorubas are not paranoid about Fulanis. We are not that worried in that regard. Here you get. So if any Fulani decided to attend a Yoruba conference, maybe he's an observer. Here you get. So you're not going to attend a, a conference of the Yorubas and say, oh, I went there to, it's a conference, it's not a secret court or secret meeting. Are you with me? So I don't think we are. We are only concerned about the ones that are really armed terrorists in our forest, okay? And that is why those who are limiting us or trying to cut us down from even pursuing them are not even Fulanese themselves. They are Yorubas. So do you know that uh, our own, uh, pretty much our worries and our concerns, mm, it should be more on those who are giving the Fulani terrorists in Yoruba land protection. And the protection I mean is the free hand, the ones that would 
punish Yorubas for a murderous Sefulani. So don't 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 bring that uh, paranoia mentality. This is UK, okay? So if you're a Fulani, if you are Igbo, you are welcome. Join us. It's called conference, something you are all going to see in your bedroom anyway. So if somebody who can just turn on their own TV and watch it, Fulani, will travel down to Glasgow from wherever you are from. Whether you are speaking Yoruba or you are speaking Igbo, who gives a fuck? Eh? So we, I am not that paranoid. I don't know about others. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Good Mr. afternoon, the general. How are you? I'm fine. This is uh, Bright. I'm calling from Italy. Bright. Uh, uh, my ego. Go on, oh. my ego, my ego. You see, um, lately I've been thinking so... I've been thinking so deep lately. You know, so deep. I'm going to talk generally about situations around us as Nigerians today because do you know I came to Europe when I came to Europe in my twenties mm. and the reason I left was because I I I saw the future for myself that there was no way I could make it in the Nigerian system. Mm. There was no way. And to even add my, to even make it worse. I was the eldest of my family. So as an African person, you know what it is, especially when you are a, a, a male child. And I decided to say, okay, even though one of my parents was already living here, but I said, okay, let me join and see what I can do for myself. And maybe before then, we will all come home and live in uh, this paradise of everybody's dream. And that is in the Nigeria of the future. But do you know that I'm heading towards my 50s now? I'm looking towards my 50s. I'm already on the road to my 50s. And everything is getting worse and worse and worse. And I continue to think, are, are we, am I sure I'm going to see that Nigeria of my dream in my time? <laughs> because... I'm so sorry because, to worry, but I mean, to sort of break your heart, sir. <laughs> eh? Right, oh. Uh, no, this, I'm see yeah. that is... Uh, uh, no, I'm, I... I, I, I I hundred, I I believe that hundred percent. You can anybody can take you to the bank and and, and go and cash in. I, I I don't doubt that because there is no way, there is no mathematics, there is no further math you are going to solve that you are going to arrive at in Nigeria and becoming great in the nearest future. It's very very difficult. It's not sustainable. There is nobody in the country. This no, way. it's not possible. No, no, no. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a matter of time. It, it's important. And you, you see, the reason, there's a lot of reasons for that. Nigeria is a very big country. It's a very great country. It's a country that is like, there is a, it's like when some people will say traditionally that, oh, this person, we don't see future, it will be better. So no, we will cheer and we will for a body, make it not better. I see Nigeria like that globally. If you look at what is trending globally now, there is no platform that you go. Even in, do you know that even in, in, in Hollywood movies in the United States, there are there are some episodes. Sometimes they will even include Nigeria and script now. on it. And now, that is, that is to tell you that Nigeria is okay. okay. Nigeria is already a, it's already a, a, a something. It's, it's, something it's, already, it's already something that is kind of. It's very important to everybody, whether the good, the bad, the ugly. Nigeria is very important to all of them. And that is why the, the reason why we, we cannot live where we are. And that is why these people, these politicians, they are going to hold power for a long, long time until somebody who has seven heads mm. come and say, no, the system has to be hold. Because I saw you playing that, uh, that forum that these people were there saying referendum. And this is the reason, this is the way they use, so these politicians and the same people, so-called pastors, the way they use, they will look at the dynamics, they will look at what is going on around the Nigerian uh, 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 space, mm -hmm. what the people are having in mind. They will use it to now bring what the people again and say, okay, now uh, we want to move a further. So that the people will like embrace them again and say, oh, they are listening to us. Oh, yeah. So they are the men, they are not they are too. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, they will capture you again. And all these roles, if you look at it the other way, is a Nigeria is already, it's, it's another way of pre-colonization because these people, all the people you see there, all these elites, they are all affiliated to one fraternity in this place that we all live. Take it or leave it. They are all affiliated. Yes. They are all linked up to these white people. And that is why they have that power so much that whatever they do, nobody can bring them to book because they have their own masters in this diaspora that we live in. Mm -hmm. 
Because you cannot expect somebody like Unam Dikano to still be in the dungeon as well. See, somebody who, who is said to be a British citizen. And these same people who call themselves the white people, they are the same people to throw their, throw, throw their towers when uh, Bazoum of Nijie was put out of office and said, no, 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 it's impossible. Human rights violation. We must do something about it. So who is not talking for Unam Dikano for, 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 as a British citizen? Who is talking for him? Nobody. Because if you look at his, history, his, any, case, uh, his case was raised inside the parliament uh, here in the UK, right? That was the list of it. Uh, that was the most they went. Uh, no, it's a script. It's a script. Just to, just to buy time, just to, as if we, we take it serious. We don't take it serious. Because if you look at history, there is no activist in Africa that want to put Africa on the world map, that want to make Africa a better place or a sector in Africa, that want to change the dynamics and want to make it clean. There is no activist, go and do your history, that have succeeded. They either put you in prison or they take they will, and they will take you out in due time. What happened to Gaddafi? What happened to Kwame Kuma? What happened to Mandela? They, they are there, all of them. Even, even to some musicians who will sing some music that can bring back your consciousness to begin to think of which kind of African, to so don't know your identity as an African, these musicians, they will take you out. Because a white man once said in a program I was watching, he said it will be the last thing for an European to, to be happy with to see African grow. Because the moment African grow, the, the, the Europeans are going to have a problem. That is why, because you look at it, you will go to school in Nigeria as an engineer, you will be whatever you want to be, a doctor, whatever. You cannot do anything that these people will approve for you. An architect in Nigeria cannot say, okay, let me design something on my own. You see, the government will not support you. They will prefer to go and bring a white person. Then if you, if you are a doctor, if you want to say, okay, there is something going on, let me do a vaccine. Let me do a vaccine for my people so that my people will be cured. They will not approve it for you. And your government will support them not approve it for you. Because you are, you are not free. You are not free as a person. You are not free. You are still under their dojo indirectly. They still control us. Because the issue of this one is so clear. It's so clear. Because if Unam the Kano really is free, a lot of things are going to change. Many things will change. A lot of things will change. Some people will see the other side. So, so this, the, the whole thing is like, sometimes I don't see that. So is this how we are going to end? Is this how we are going to end, Mayugo? Mm. Nigeria is not, because there is no, look, I said my parents, one of my parents are the year for you. I told you, I said I left in my 20s. One of my parents are the year. Because you okay, you wanted to you wanted us as your children to survive. That is why one of my parents was here. And you you were surviving us. Yes, the, the country was not better. I came and I, I came for over 30 years yourself. And, and that was the plan. I'm looking at my city. No, that was never the plan. When I came here, I said maybe five years I'll go back home. Yeah, I'm gonna go back home. You, 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 you are probably you are you are part of uh, Nigerians that oh, the you know the people that they will have uh, the option of would you go to Europe or you just want to stay here? You know, that family, that kind of, they will, they will call you and say, and you'll be like, mm, I'm thinking that maybe after my uh, final year, I will then go. I'll say, oh, uh, you better go now and start uh, your school there. i say, mm, no, I want the, to be here. Uh, you, you, uh, so uh, uh, you, uh, you are a prophet. Uh, hmm. Now you, you are see, a prophet. Now they kind exactly of people like you, now, you see, oh, now people like you now say, okay, maybe I'll come because mom, mom is there or dad is there. Anyway, I'll go. And then I'll just be there for a few years and other, I'm coming back here. And there you are, 30 years and still counting. Nothing is better. When I left Nigeria, my house is much now, safer there than taking the risk of going back to retire in Nigeria. Now you go, how will you retire? Let me give you an instance. When I was in Nigeria, even as bad as it, it is, the house I was living, if I want to drink, so if I want to drink water, if I want to wash my clothes, I don't need to, we don't have a water, so we don't have borehole. I will just open the tap and the water comes out. That is the Nigeria I left. Hmm. But okay, if, if look at the Nigeria we live now. There is nothing like that that exists anymore. Are you trying to tell me it's going to be better? There is not going to be better. No sign. If 30 years ago we were better, instead of us to develop with time, we are moving backwards and you are telling me where somebody telling me I should pray, everything. It's not, there is nothing. There is no mathematics, there is no English, there is no lip speaking, nothing. The only thing that can change us as Nigerians is, first of all, 
we need to identify our, that is why I like to my book. We need to identify ourselves as who we really are. Because some of us have been brainwashed with taking, we, 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 we take other people's identity and forget about our yeah. own. And that does not make us think well. Mm. You will, see, you will see a Nigerian who is a pure Benima or Igbo man or Yoruba man. He, he, he will come for, leave his home. Then tomorrow he, he, will, he, will, he, will, he will be the first person to tell you that, oh, my culture, they are not good. Whatever they are doing, they, they are devil. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we don't, those, those thinking, Touch. those thinking automatically will never make you to progress in life. Look, look, look at, look at. China, we are colonized. Chinese, the, 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 the Japanese were colonized, the British, the British were there, yes. but the, the Japanese are still the Japanese. Yeah. They are still the Japanese. Yes, and Chinese are they still didn't Chinese. Tell you, they didn't, the Chinese are still Chinese, the Indians are still the Indians. Yeah, that is why they were always progress. They didn't, they, they didn't throw anything away. You colonize us, no worry, no problem. We will take part of your whatever you got, but we are still who we are. But we, we throw our own away. We, we threw it through the window. There are some people that it is not it, it, ah no it, my, my brother it it, it, it so pains much. me mm-hmm. it, it pains me it pains me it pains me so because I never expected to be sitting here till now we are suffering in Europe we are nobody is enjoying in Europe forget the beautiful things we are suffering thank you we are so suffering much, eh? uh, Brighto thank, thank so you so much my brother for, for uh, sharing that with us uh, okay we appreciate that thank you. you have a, yeah you have a good afternoon okay I have another call on the line. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Yeah, my good. Yeah, my good diary. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm very happy. I'm be, I'm fine. I'm very happy to get you today. Amazing. You know, Go on, Baba. we are still, we are still talking about everybody in Nigeria to chop that breakfast, and we are chopping it to one one state to another for the Southerners. Everyone is so. Maybe hmm. yeah, yeah. After the after Delta State, Edo State, Oshun State, Ogun State, everybody will take their own part. As our youth don't want to wake up because these monsters are ready to kill us. Yes, they don't have sympathy for us. No. So it's better the citizen, it's better for us to rise up. It's better for us, for the future of our children. And the, that is what you said yesterday in your program. You said that your children is not ready to send anybody money in Nigeria. You are doing it. Let's you are still doing it. Now, me get connection with Nigeria. My own children, right? They're going to grow up and possibly would not, they may have connection that they say, oh, we have this family, but not to the extent of them sending money to anybody every month, like I do. And there are generations that are going to fizzle out. Many of us like that, eh? Once we die, eh? You will see the money will dry and dry off. So, my brother, hmm. I really appreciate you. The only one I can give you, I just give you the word of encouragement. The 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 most annoying part of it that if you ask our youth, are you listening to all these so con- con- uh, content creator or bloggers? Are you listening to Mayegu? He will ask you who is Mayegu. I was like, are you are you okay? You're on social media. I don't know what is going on. You don't want to get the right information mm. to know what is going on. That you, as there in Nigeria, doing content that your life is at stake mm-hmm. by these so-called leaders. They don't want to wake up today and the Kano has come to court. Try to let everybody know that these people are the people holding us down. That we should rise up mm-hmm. and fight them once for all. Fight them and fight their children. Because if you do not fight them and fight their children, when, they, when they're gone, they should, their children will take over. Take their place, yeah. Now, because Turubu has, Turubu has put in Shei yes. in a pipeline. Maybe the next the next Lagos state governor may be Shei. Mm-hmm. The same problem will continue in Lagos state. If the Lagos state did not wake up, they will still be slaves Self- in the hands of one man. Mother, yeah? son. My brother, it's a pity. Yes. But I don't, I don't have anything to say. You've done well. I just, my, 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 oh, my last word is say, yes. if you don't want to wake up, we, got, we, we are going to keep on chopping that breakfast one state to another. Until as long as we still remain in that country in Nigeria. I know. That is my word. God bless you. My, Thank my you. Brother. You have a good one, okay? And take it easy too, all right? Nice one. Um, Here, I do have another caller, I think. Here. Uh, hello there. Hello. Baba. Kitty, 
ojo o le choose fun conference limi bo lona eh a se n fori kori fi kun lokun lowo ni so eh an wa ibi ti amo ipe eh ta mo yan wa ba to ba sun eh obi obi kila tin pe ti amo ko awon yan wa ti le alese meeting ni wa conference wa se gbo ta fe se ke oni ka ku lo sun yare na ni the same place was the jokeji ti ge sin an an fori kori lowo sha to ba ti ko su to pari ama son kokon nipa e because okay. I make sure yeah because yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 between the last week of uh, you know last week of august lomaje starting from maybe 24th oh. 25th ah, that will, between that will be our, great. you know I fall towards the end or oh, we will share it ah, that will be, sir. Mm -hmm. yeah that would be great because uh, about two or three people wants to come along together with me from manchester that would be great so that's the baby now asking me you get that. So we are looking for a place where we know that uh, if you are coming over, uh, you know, if you are going to be, because we are thinking it's going to be maybe two, three days conference, okay? So if it's going to be two, three days conference, people who are going to book uh, their own hotel we want to make sure that, you know, like it's moderate, everything is sharp, moderate, not too much stress. And once you pick your bag from anywhere and you land in Glasgow, then you can land in your own hotel room and the conference is just next to it. You get what I mean, sir? But we will work it out. I okay. promise. Oh, fantastic. Okay. And there is just my little addition in what we've been discussing because I saw all the people gathering together talking about uh, 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 referendum and all this. They're talking about confab, referendum, yeah. constitution, and all that. It's very disheartening to, mm -hmm. I think uh, the, the past criminals are extremely wicked, mm -hmm. even more wicked than the people who are there. They are, uh, they've probably been doing this in order to cover up for those who are there. Anything mm -hmm. that, can, that, that can make sure that people's minds are deflected to start uh, talking about different things, not focusing on the major and that is why I think uh, the conference would be a great, a great thing because talking more about the problem, apart from those of you who are enlightening people, they are succeeding in building up because this is one of those things they taught us when we we're doing SIA course. They said when you see a crowd of people who are hooligans fighting, enter their midst and bring them into smaller sizes, you will surely conquer them. Mm. And this is what they have been always been doing all the time. If you see people, you kept Nam the Kano there, the man who has actually opened everybody's eyes, and then you say you are doing conference. This thing is really, if you go, if you see a Mexican, they, you say, this is Mexican food. This is a Mexican. It's here an Italian. They have their own trade. They have their own, their own language. They, if you see a Chinese, they have their own. What is Nigerian language exactly? Who is a Nigerian? Yeah. Are the, no, what there's, there, what is there's Nigeria, nothing like... What is Nigeria's language? No, say, there, <laughs> which is Wazobia? When we have about five, almost 500 almost different dialects. Uh -huh. So how can they say it's Wazobia? And that you means you already, mm -hmm. you already divided the country by mm -hmm. saying Wazobia. What about the remaining dialects? I think it is very important that those of us who are in uh, the diaspora really, really, really come together to, to really dissect these things and know what to do, what step to take, because there are some people who are in the diaspora, they're even worse than the people at home. Because I've met many of them here that they, all their contact details is just the people back home in Nigeria and their agency they are working for, and that's it. They are, it's like people who went to the university and the university never went through them. No. They are here or they are worse than the people. They just want to be here and be controlling people at home. Yes. Just be saying, I mean, Mosheba, I mean, Mosheba, I want to work here. I want to work I want to work here. I want to work here. I I I want to I want to I want to I I I our problem is so the mm. issue of this house rent, issue of uh, school fees, or issue of this hotel. Give me the next week. 
There are people who actually enjoy oh. that. Hey, Gomi, you know, there are so many people I'm taking care of. And you know, I'm taking care of. And you know, I'm taking care of. 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 Meanwhile, the same person is ranting on social media that uh, leave Tinumbu alone. Let him do his mm -hmm. job. So I told people, so I said, anybody where they are abroad, they tell you, say, may you give Tifnubu time. Is your open uh, known enemy yeah, that you are possibly fighting to let go? Because anybody where they are abroad, yeah. eh, Baba? Mm. That's exactly the same way the politicians are behaving. They want people to come and cycle them. They don't want to do anything that will profit the nation and the society where they belong, but for people to come and gather onto them and begin to plead for arms. I think this thing is beyond what people are talking about. And I pray mm. that uh, God Almighty will strengthen every one of you that are really, really opening people's eyes as cautious mind. May the Lord let uh, Nam Dekanu come out of that place, that dungeon. Yeah. That's my contribution this afternoon. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. Uh, so you uh, on, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You can be on the lookout for that. Uh, uh, more details on what we said earlier, sir. Okay. You have a good afternoon, yourself. So, uh, indeed. So I'll tell you, right, we are going to have uh, the Yoruba Union's uh, conference, and it's going to be the conference of Yorubas worldwide. So others, the, the, the actual initiator of this, um, you know, this uh, very lovely program that is popping up soon, right? They are from the U.S., Yorubas, uh, the unionists in the U.S., the uh, unionist uh, in Nigeria, Yoruba land. So uh, we are going to host the world. Unionist in Canada. I'm saying there are places now because I'm trying to, you know, I'm picking up these faces of those who are indeed uh, asking us to do this. And why, why? Why do we want to have a conference, Yoruba conference in Glasgow? It has to really be a good, big, I mean, a big stuff. It's going to be. I can assure you that, okay? However, it is going to be strictly by uh, invitation. And your invitation is going to be ticketing. There's, uh, there is, you know, there's uh, a website called the Eventsbrite. Now, Eventsbrite is where the platform that's going to actually give the ticket to everyone. Now, uh, the in the conversation around organizing the conference in itself, uh, it means that it is either the union will raise fund internally to fund some, uh, you know, some logistics that will put all of this together itself, or the union would have to like a sell ticket for such conference, you know, not much, maybe fifty dollars or fifty pounds, or fifty dollars, yeah. So uh, the event, so you, the number of people who are going to show interest, right, will determine, uh, you know, how many of such. Uh, uh, programs are going to be added to the event itself and the organizer. So there's nothing so clear yet. And the union is not too rich. What we do is that uh, we usually use our money uh, to, the little we get, we use them to uh, support uh, the most vulnerable uh, of our people back uh, in Yoruba land. We've done that a while. We paid over, a, I mean, 1.3 million era for uh, somebody's. Uh, a surgery. Yes, we did. Okay. So we have uh, children that we have adopted whose school fees are being paid by us, including their welfare. Yes. You know? So we have a lot of stuff that we do all behind the scene as much as our, I mean, as much as our resources uh, uh, can actually cover. So organizing the, the first uh, World Congress for, for the Union, Yoruba Union, is I think it's expected to be big, and I promise that there are those. You see, those who are going to come from the UK alone, they probably will take over the entire world. So, we are contemplating 200, 300, or 500, but all of that will be sorted, okay? And everybody can actually indeed eh, be part of it. 
And when you have uh, the Yoruba Union uh, Conference, which is going to talk more about Yoruba's uh, uh, unity, Yoruba's uh, security, Yoruba's uh, commerce, Yoruba's economy, Yoruba's uh, finance, and so many other things like that, and culture, tradition, and all of that stuff. A lot of stuff I expected to be on display when such conference takes place. So it can't be a single day conference. It has to be like two, three days. I mean, imagine if you have to fly in from Australia to the UK, all those hours only to come and attend one day conference. No, it should be more than that. Like when you, when we outline all of the programs as they should be, but that can actually be our own 1957 Lancaster house uh, move, but it's just going to be somewhere in Glasgow. But I don't want to say much than I should because, you know, I'm somebody who is a dreamer. And the moment I started imagining things and imagine, and I'm, I am somebody who believes that if I, can, if I can think about something, then I can do it. Now, if I could envision something, I can actually bring it to reality. So I can talk from now till the end of the day, telling you what and what to expect. But I'll hold it and let Hyrook say something. Hyrook. Yeah. Uh, this morning. My good, good morning over here. Yeah, good morning over good, here. Good morning to you. Uh, yeah, good, good morning, good afternoon, you know, good evening, wherever place you are. Yeah, my good, uh, I'm very glad, you know, to talk to you this morning. I mean, I'm very, very addicted to this program. You know, without this, You're this program is just like now. a medicine. Money stop. Yeah, the, the, this, yeah, this program is just like a medicine to, to my body now. So anytime I don't have it, you know, I'll, I'll be feeling restless. Well, yeah. uh, well, let me just go to the, straight to the point, you know, about the, the petrol, you know, conversing for a referendum. You know, this is what they should have even done. You know, as soon as um, uh, um, Obasanjo took the mantle of leadership, by 1999, it's when they start, they, they're supposed to even converse him because Obasanjo himself already know that the country has failed because of what had been going on. But I mean, it's not too late, whatever thing they want to do. But as we keep saying, our own is to break it up so that everybody, they, everybody can do their own referendum individually, you know, to know how to manage their self because that's the way to go. Because if we keep saying this one Nigeria, one Nigeria, it will never work. Because people that we see as leaders, they are all liars. liars. Even the, hmm. yeah, the, the country is full of OBT, 419. Nobody can tell you the truth. Do you know that, Mayabu, my first time of not doubting people is when I came to United States of America. Hmm. So Do you know that when I was in Nigeria, when somebody tells you something, uh, yeah, when somebody tells you something in Nigeria, sometimes you say, no, he's lying. I don't believe him. See? But, and it is, it is well, because but when of you call, uh, your experience so, about Nigeria and all of that, so, that will make it difficult yes. to trust anybody because not be all of us. Now all of us get trust issue. Why do you think we are suspecting yes. ourselves even to today? I was not suspecting uh, yes. people and he's suspecting Igbo. Igbo suspecting Yoruba. Yoruba <laughs> suspecting Jukum. Why? Is it not because we all have trust issue? But continue. It's not wrong. Okay. Do you know that when I came to this country, I begin to know that this country, they don't have secret. Do when, when in the I class, actually believe that? Is, do you know when I believe that it is actually embarrassing to be a liar? It's after I came to this it country. It is now. It is. It is. You so, know, like, you can easily just lie about the class, something. Then later, I just feel yeah, like when I'm in the, lying is actually really embarrassing. You know? It is. Instead of acting like you are smart. It is. You're not smart. It's actually embarrassing. It's yeah. so demeaning. Yes. It's so belittling. Now, after I came to this country, I realized that for real, in practice, when I realized I don't even have to lie about anything, Sha. Like, why no, do you I have don't. to lie? You don't. Hmm. You don't. Bye -bye. Okay. When I came to this country, so in the class, you will see some students. They will come and be telling everybody what happened to their, for, to their home. Yeah. I'll pick myself. I'll say, these people, are they more or not? No, 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 give something. As time goes on, hey, now. <laughs> I, begin, I begin to realize that these people, they are very intelligent. Hmm. Because when you say the truth, truth is set you free. Them. Being open-minded means yeah, it works for... they are very inquisitive. They are very curious. Okay? Yes. Because they are yes. curious, they are very inquisitive. They ask a lot of questions. And because they ask a lot of questions, they are very open. Sure you get. Yes. And it's a cycle yes. like that. Because they are very open, 
that makes them to ask probe and ask more questions and all of that. And I see that as a real great thing, right? And what I was it is. Ask, Baba. Hmm. It is, and that is why that is why you see them. They are very very outspoken, unlike hmm. we, hmm. because when you want to talk, they tell you shut up. You don't talk to your elder like that. Uh, yeah, nobody cares about elders. I mean, they respect you if you give them that respect, mm -hmm. you know, and that, that helps when you see them interacting with their parents or their siblings. Mm -hmm. Man, you said, man, this is life. This is how life should be. Not like those things we are living there. So in a so nation they, where... They, see, maybe we maybe say when they grow up, eh? I believe, say, I'm mm -hmm. a man. I'm going to be the head of the family. So I need to brace up. I need to work hard. I need to be, be ready to take care of my family. Sure you get. And my children... Mm -hmm. They must know, say, Papa, don't come. You know that what we say, your Papa go come. Now one person go alert everybody at the end of the street. Hey, be, hey, be, hey, be, your Papa, don't come. And everybody go wrong. Okay, my, <laughs> okay, my, let me, let me, let me, let me blow your mind. Let me, let me blow your mind. Let me blow your mind. Right. Let me begin to, I will review some certain things, but I know a lot of people, they're not going to like it or they will like it. Yeah, but as, as I'm saying it on this platform, yeah, as I'm saying it on this platform, yeah, yeah, as, as I'm saying it on this platform, people should go and do their research. Do you know that this Lucifer, they were telling us, is devil? Mm. Lucifer is not devil, my ego. I, I did the research on my own with whatever other things I hear. Lucifer is Christ. Do you know that they lie, they lie, they lie a lot to us, even this they're preaching. You see, in Nigeria, they are worshiping devil, they are not worshiping Christ. Do you know the first person, if they are talking the first people to go to heaven, do you know Kano, Namde, Namde Kano, mm -hmm. and Ibowo, they are the first people to go to heaven. That heaven they are talking about, because they said the truth, and that mm -hmm. truth will set you free. Even if the man will die or he will not die, but that man will see heaven before all those, their pastors, and their, whoever people that are talking about, because they don't deceitful, tell them the truth. Deceitful people. Hmm. So, that country because even Bible condemn lying tongue. You know what it says about the lying tongue? Like you shall, I mean, yes. ah, you should not use your light to tell yes. lies and all. I mean, your tongue to yes. tell lies. It's, it's like you are condemned, you are caused when you lie. Then when you not lie against somebody to be punished, that's even like unforgivable, I think. Yes, yes. So okay. what I'm trying to say is that for the fact our people, mm -hmm. yeah, for the fact they are there, they can't speak the truth, or they can't see you know black and white. Eh? Mm. You see that dungeon, they can never go out. But those people who know the truth and follow the truth, they'll be set free. Even, even if they are there, they'll be set free. Because it's only the truth that will set you free. You see the way you come, you come out every day to be speaking this truth, be saying this thing. That is why all of them should have been doing. I think all of them is doing like this. Make me feel healthy, be that too. If by any reason, then grab me, kidnap me, lock me up somewhere for a month, right? I may lose it. I may come out and become a terrorist. You know what I mean? Now, because I have chance. No, it can never happen now. It can never like happen. This. It can never happen. Sure, you get yeah, it can never happen. Out my mind like this, do all yeah. of that. That is what keeps me sane. Nobody will know the truth about what is going on in Nigeria, and you will not be, be angry 24-7. You'll be angry to, even in your dream, where you are sleeping, like you are supposed to be calm and be sleeping. You'll, be, you'll still be angry <laughs> about Nigeria if and, you know the truth. Mayego, let our people, our people need to read. Yes. They need to study. They need to do research on this. They shouldn't believe on that. Those their pastor. Mm. I mean, I'm saying it. Don't believe on your pastor. Not everything your pastor says you will believe. Do your own research. You are, you, are, you are your own God. You, you see, that God already given everybody power. Yes. You know, but try to find your own talent. Then you also support it with truth. That's only only thing that can help that country. That's it. You know. My case, you know, I, I close my case. I rest my case. Thank now. you so my much, Have, you, you have, have well, a wonderful right? Now you can yeah, get have a wonderful day. day, right? You've had your dose now. Yeah. So yeah, we're all good. Thank you so much, yeah. sir. Okay. Yeah, have thank you. Fun. That's uh, Iroh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, all the way from, uh, the, uh, from the US. The line is still open, and I know a lot of you have a lot to say, but I have a caller. Please hang in there for me. Do not hang up, okay? It may be difficult to get you back. Ladies and gentlemen, right? Nigeria is the I mean the, the highest concentration of a mad people in the world. I didn't say it. It is the Ministry of Health. Former Minister of Health in Nigeria said Nigerians, over 70 percent of Nigerians are suffering from mental problem. And on many occasions, I've come to believe that. He didn't present any evidence, so 
He just told all of us to go on the streets and prove him wrong if he is wrong. And truly, if you walk on the street of Nigeria and you encounter Nigerians in their own element for real, you are likely going to agree with that number. 70% are mad. There are Nigerians who will tell you, now only three people remain with normal for this Lagos. It's because they themselves, once in a while, when they are normal, they will remember and say, ah, Omar, now all of us mad for this country. Now only me and three others get CDOK in this country. Because take a look at this. Eh? Here is uh, the Anambra Medical Association writing a petition to the uh, you know, to the police that they should come and help them. Oh, there is a corpora called Corpora Okona. Corpora Okona, eh? That is Angle. They say our colleague, Dr. Ofodile Okweogu, a consultant, neurosurgeon, managed the patient in a private facility in Nnewi. The patient, Corpora Okona, Stephen Ifai of Nigerian Police uh, Area Command, Nnewi, was involved in a road traffic accident and sustained head injury in January 2024. Baba, you get injury for head. No, yeah, they carry you go hospital. Doctor treated you. They say, may you pay. Baba, no pay. Oh. The guy said he won't pay. The next thing, he arrested the doctor that saved his life. You know the ridiculous thing? Even like I say the, the bill was, let's say the bill was a 50,000 naira bill. The corporal arrested the doctor that saved his life. And he's demanding for 100,000 naira bill. So the doctor go pay twice to bail himself. For him to collect the 50,000 era charges. Now tell me, say that is not madness. Only in Nigeria. I have a caller. Hello there. Hey, Mr. Mayugo. Baba. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Um, um, I'm, no, I'm not okay with this Nabi kind of situation. I can the imagine. Rest, <laughs> the, the impunity in that country is too much. Oh, they, they are doing this thing too much. I don't understand why of the of the Western world, the world just sitting and looking at them. I know. See what he told them today. You no, know, and this is almost what we have been saying, Baba. Eh? Now they can inside that same court, oh, yeah, yeah. And they know it very well. They know it very well. And I suspect that some people in government are complicit. They are making money with insecurity. That's correct. They are making money with it. They know now the can is outside. In two minutes, this nonsense will stop. Who is the idiot? Who is the bagger? That will, that will speak when I'm talking. Who, who is the fool? Who is the idiot? I ask. That I give an order in the East and any idiot to counter it. Who is the, who is the bastard? I'm asking you. So, sir, Nobody you, can. Sir, are you a I'm gay? I'm not a no. Who is the idiot? No, 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 no. Form of violence or insecurity in the Southeast in the name of IPOK is a gun and they know that. Let me come out of this nonsense this mess two minutes only only two minutes i, I guarantee you under the peace in the east not just south east. everywhere in the east the mm -hmm. huh? some people are making money from it they do not want him out they will they will even prefer him dead inside that uh, mess on them the canoe will be out baba you saw that these these guys that are doing this, when the the, the horror hmm. come against um, upon them, nobody should have mercy on them because I don't know how to go home and sleep. I don't. They, sometimes I sit down and say, "Kilo shele gone." These people, their conscience is dead. They don't have what's going on. How much money do you want on this face of the earth? Are you going to take it to hell? I mean, to the to the grave? I don't. You see. You can this thing just I'm mad. I'll be just born over and say, I What did they speak like they are doing? What, what are they doing? Ah, the cannon will be out, ah, it will give order, somebody will counter the order. You know, I've been saying my own. I said, May all of us just wait for this guy to come out first. Everybody can be everything, everybody can be whatever it is, right? But for those who are really behind the terrorism in eastern Nigeria. Those who are sponsoring and then harming those uh, unknown uh, criminals, they call them, right? Because they are known. Allow this guy out. Eh? He said it himself. He said two minutes. It's because it's the announcement of his release alone will probably send a lot of them packing. So who does not want peace in eastern Nigeria that will prefer Namdekanu to die in prison for a crime he hasn't committed, not committed any crime, for no crime? Baba? 
The same Nigerians will be coming around now when the when the horror uh 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 say power to have a phone once in. I don't know where you are. Forgive them. Yeah. You know, this, I don't know what's wrong with us. We ourselves are saying, Susan, we have a problem. We we have a problem. For example, before when I first uh 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 run into your, your platform, mm -hmm. I used to be like commenting, smiling, mama, LOL, mama, I'll be laughing, you can't stop. So until yeah, I listen to your to your term, themes of your music or your song. You say, or you can share or you can share That's what she man. Because I only laugh at everything you say because it's kind of funny. You have a it human in your stuff. Sometimes I know. But there's, there is sick, there is something to learn from me. So all these people that go, that's why I'm against people that type and they be like everything here. Come on, you're my rain. Come on, no, you're my rain. It's not funny no more. This is not, this is getting too out, yeah, out that's why I told getting you, out I, I've done my best on this platform to remind everybody that uh, politics is not a game. This is a life and death decision-making process. Okay? You should not sit back and say, she been for four years. We are talking about your lives. We are talking about your livelihoods. We are talking about your safety. Politics is not game. It's not Chelsea versus Man U. It's not Arsenal versus Madrid. This is your life, your children. We are talking about your future. But I'll keep doing my best to remind everybody. About and the people that you know, groom, grooming, groom, yeah. Cannot, grooming. have not done what, one, one, one third of what, what Gumi is doing. And it's they are there walking around, you know. And all the all those people that are following obedience, obedient followers, they don't think because obedient, obedient, obedient went to go see this gumi before. Yes, work with him. What's so special about that guy? Seeking for his support. Yes, what's so special about that? Knowing the, the guy, what he's doing, and you are still associate yourself with him for what reason? He's gonna give you a vote. He's gonna make you president. But the guy went to see him. Mm. I don't. I don't. This. I don't know. It's like uh, it's better. It's better than my devil. So it That's what uh, Nigeria. My 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 own oppressor is better than your own Jari. My own thief is better than your own thief, Baba. Oh yeah, bring out your thief. Show your own thief fear God. My own thief, eh? Now a guy is my own thief is a God fearing thief. Oh yeah, show me your own thief. Nigerians. Just like when you, when when you do your talking about their pastor, yeah. they become their make comment. Am I like a pastor? Is different. It's not human being. It's not. It's not uh, for one night. You. It's not scamming you. You don't see why. Your, your one show is just got it wrong. But you are gone. DNA one. Now they say now our DNA is defective. Now from that DNA, where they take wire us. Me. Now one few of us escape. Others are just like I know the uh, Yeah, my product from. Uh, I believe that. You know, I believe that because down here in America, they, they still only even the GNA. She was going They'll be talking, you looking at what she was by you. Okay, no, she only know you. Re so you said, you know, you know, you know, you know, I've tried to describe that on this uh, platform a few times. Like, you know, some people will just say something sometimes. You know, you see them in the hall, everybody looks so nice. Oh, wow, good looking people, and all of that. And then one person will just say something, and then you just be like, ah, eh, what? We will look sort of don't see, you know. <laughs> like, hey, Joe, sorry, raise up your hand. We will so, we'll be that madman. We just finished talking right now. Let's say another person, ah, ah, alone down, you know. Yes, sir, you should have kept your mouth well, shut, eh? And you can do that. Well, you would have leave all of us in doubt. You know, we'll be doubting whether you get sense or you don't get sense. Now you don't talk. You don't disappoint everybody for this all. So you do feel those well, people too, friend. where they will say something and you'll be like, oh, yes. my God. Yes. My, uh, one of my friends is a doctor. Hmm. Oh man, deliver oh, 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 oh man, you will see surgery, you match everything. And he, all the guy by say, God, Jesus, uh, you know, I come and say, if the, the surgery they do, like Jesus, they help you, they do them. Not be your own, they do them. Hmm. Not because he went to school. When you went to go take the blood test, you think Jesus take the test for you? Or not be say he study for you to me? I say, ah, without Jesus, I cannot, I cannot make it. I'll ah. argue with those oh, so. That one there, the answer. <laughs> you know that point, sir, when I see somebody <laughs> waste spend sleepless nights to achieve academic ah. excellence or a beautiful career and they will look at you and say oh it's because if if not for jesus if not for god i'm like see at this point eh, i don't want share in the glory i beg eh? i stay away because you all know that 
sometimes eh, faith is 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 strange, Baba. Mm? I prefer people who are uh, indeed who give thanks to God, all right, and not make it because it's pretty much like uh, you know, Baba, hypocrisy. Ne? Here you get yes. it is pure it hypocrisy. Is. Is. Here you get so. What yes. about those? Yeah, what about those who failed? So Jesus said he helped them. God mm. help them. Mm. Boy, it was you and all that. I mean, come on, just give thanks. Well, I'm grateful to God uh, for the grace and all that. But uh, come on, Baba. <laughs> yeah, they they'll be compare you to like, somebody. I don't like attaching with those ones because I don't talk to them anymore. The they'll be compare. Ah, uh, you know, fear, they'll be saying you, you, should, you should thank God. You should yeah. thank God. Say, you know, they're on the wheelchair like those people who did for wheelchair. I say, ah, are you praying for me to be on the wheelchair now? So that we I mean, we okay, so, something. God, God has shown you what to show that He's powerful. <laughs> eh? Uh, I, I don't. Somebody mean. tells you. Ah, say, don't think about God. You know when somebody said to you that, uh, uh, because you are talking about God, right? And somebody will say, ah, "About it's not. See, God can God can take everything away from you. You can lose your job. You can be crippled. You can be sick. You say, back in the day, must all of that happen to me before you prove to me? Say God, day." Eh? <laughs> Like, why you they think like that, Seth? Why you they think, say, okay, oh, God can just destroy me and just to show me, she, just to show me same day, I didn't get power. Why, bros? Mm. Why? And they say, it's God now. God can do it. I say, among everything where God feed do, what are you saying that the one will destroy me? You, they think, to show me, say, God day. Long story, Jari Baba. Come on, shall I help you? I will soon let you pick up the color, but one thing I will make about it now, the coming. Please. He day. That the horror will start on those guys. I don't if anybody call me and say hey, they don't I will because these people don't see what the, this poor guy I pray for them. Yeah. They will die, they'll say me so rest in peace. You know what he did? Why is so rest in peace? Somebody, somebody will they do all this. Uh, make somebody call it yeah. like to say, don't talk like that. We are all human beings. Forget about the kinetic and call about any equipment where you get that. You may actually have to research some equipment you go use that time or. Me. This this guy, man, he don't deserve this. It's, 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 it's Every time I see that, I just I just they cry. I say, kill on the boy, you should you to your long. And now, she don't shame. Anyway, let me let you pick all that colors. Thank yeah, you very so much for the call. Nice one, eh? All right. So I do have this, here this another guy. brother, one name. Uh, oh, and, uh, hey, Afra. Oh, hello, Dua, bro. Oh, hello, Dua. I'm good. I'm good, my good. Thank you for everything. Thanks. How are you? How's the family? Well, I'm trying to be fine because, to be honest, right, I <laughs> am really disappointed today. But I am told that uh, I look better when I put on a smile, whether fake or real. Trust me, it's not really, really yeah. good. So they denied their mercy is built today yeah. for no reason. My blood is boiling right now, my good. My blood is boiling. Um, I. Oh my goodness. To anyone that say that the Nigerians should, should seriously have their head checked. Look in the mirror. There's no way in hell you could assume and claim that you're a Nigerian with all the stuff that's going on. Nigerians are brainless. Nigeria is a fell state. Nigeria is a horrible experiment by the British. As you could continue to see the legacy of the British, that horrible British colonial experiment is still lingering, knee deep, where you see nothing works. It's a banana republic. It is. It is. You know, this array that we all, they all continue to go, go on as it's a country, it's a failed state. It's completely has fallen apart. Mm-hmm. It's only a matter of time that we can now see that it has totally collapsed. You're telling me you don't respect your own laws? They don't. You're telling me, how can you, unbelievable. Now, listen, oh, they are oh my God. That's right. The Supreme Court, who was supposed to let them, they cannot go. Decided to play their usual uh, hide and seek game by what? By uh, destroying their own uh, fake law in reverse. Okay. The Supreme Court said the bail condition granted Namdekanu in 2017, right? Still valid. Mm-hmm. It should never have been revoked. Meaning the fact that they are, atta- the, the court said, the Supreme Court said, 
if the Nigerian military did not mobilize their soldiers to his house to go and kill him, where he had to sort of escape for his life, he wouldn't have breached his uh, bail condition ever. Because from what they had, yeah. they said he was planning to return to court the following month yeah. before that invasion. So therefore, revoking his uh, bail was totally wrong. But according to them, they also said uh, the kidnapping mm -hmm. of Unam Dikanu bringing him to Nigeria was also wrong. But Unam Dikanu has a case. But in their own opinion, they should return the case back to the high court, uh, process his bail, and then continue his uh, trial. So why did the Supreme Court not do that? It was because uh, this uh, lower court can also abuse the law and deny him bail based on what? Oh, you know what the court said today? They said, Unam de Kano may uh, jump bail. Yet, Supreme Court in the early mm -hmm. says Unam de Kano did not jump bail. The whole thing is in black and white, so <laughs> submitted to them oh, that Unam de Kano did not jump bail. The military attempted to kill him, he would have been killed by now, and there would be no case. Yeah. But because he wasn't yeah. killed, eh, it is not his fault that he had to run for his life. So now the same court is now saying, because Tinubu's lawyer said, because Nam Dekano jumped bail. They opposed his bail application we, and the court rejected it. Sorry. Are we in, are we, is this not a banana republic or what? Worse than that. Sorry. So unbelievable. Let me make it clear to you people that say that you're Nigerians, right? All you people that think you're Nigerians, Listen and listen closely. The day when this pressure busts, because pressure do bust pipes, mm -hmm. you all are going to suffer big time. You have nowhere to run. Either way, once Nigeria breaks up, because it's going to break up this year, I guarantee you it's going to break up this year. That's right. All you so-called leaders, wherever you go in this world, you will be killed. You'll be hunted down like dogs and killed. The same way you've been killing innocent people innocent. for all, mm -hmm. you know? You are, I guarantee you that. And thank you so much for showing the video of Mazi speaking because we haven't heard from him in a long time. This just energized the whole grassroots. I'm Everyone has been this. energized. You can, you can bet on that. I'm bringing more of his voice this evening. You can count on that. Oh, my God. I want to go down there right now and start doing what they need for. Yes. We will get... Uh, enough that. is enough. That's right. Enough is enough. Right, Baba. Thank you so much. My God. Eh? Thank you so much no, for everything. You take, continue the good work. Over there, okay? And take it easy, bro. Okay? Uh, Eyes on. So that's a brother uh, right there from the Kali. My guy is, uh, that is an E85. You, you have him very much on the YouTube. All of them will be a uh, YouTube community. You do know him. That's same. All ale Yafra. All ale Odudua. And that is uh, for those who are indeed self-determination advocates. We are many and we are clear. Sound and clear. So thank you so much, uh, by the way. Now, if you are still there watching, do you know you two can actually uh, call in? Uh -huh, you can. And most of the time, it is easier to call in in the afternoon or morning like this than later in the evening. Oh, that is the prime time, right? Here is a caller. Hello there. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Hello, Mr. Maigun. Baba. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm hanging in there. Uh, I wasn't going to call. Mm -hmm. but yeah, it's another day. The last guy just, yeah, I mean, he just, he just, he made my knee, my knees just weak. The last guy that just talked. Yes, so. Man, oh, E85. Did you call him E85? Yeah, yeah he's a regular guy. He's a regular ah. tattoo. He's probably easy because to spot. Come on, Baba. Actually, I, you know, I came in late. Mm. So I didn't, I didn't know when you played the, the Massey thing. I didn't know whether that was that that was an old archives. No, it was today. But when he's 
So the way you narrated the way they did everything, I don't even know either to cry, either to just go to bed. I, I'm just, I'm ashamed to be associated with anything Nigeria. Honestly, That's all I got to say. Honestly, if everybody feel like that, maybe we, we can we can turn things around. To do badly, to do tarali any. I don't even know how to say that in English. I mean, if the, if, if, if you are, English, if you are, what about uh, his neighbors? His relatives. Oh, his relatives. His family. Uh, his family. Hmm. If the government is so stupid and shameless, what about the government? Are we so stupid that they can just pick one of us and just marry them, and we just turn a blind eye? Hmm. Ah, chat, 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 chat. Uh, at the, at, 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 at the, at the, at the, at I'm telling you, because I'm a pure Yoruba guy. I'm a more local. Mm. <laughs> but if that, can, no, if that can happen, and look, we all say we are Nigeria, we are Nigeria, we are Nigeria, we are Nigerian. Show it. Dismantle everything. If you can, I mean, anyway, I don't, I, I don't know, I don't know. The same thing when it happened so, to... You know, when you see somebody who actually yeah. did nothing. I mean, see, if Mnamdi uh, Kano, for example, was declared wanted because there are so many Igbos that he kidnapped and he has a camp somewhere in Igbo land and they are collecting ransom and all of that stuff, at least we can say, okay, what if he's now repented? Oh, yeah, forgive him. But this is a man who has not hurt anybody, not a single person, none. And Nigeria unleashed all of their resources eh, on him and people like him. They killed those they could kill. They have, they, sir, there are some, there are thousands of people who are Igbos today that are illegally locked up in different undisclosed prisons and cells all over Nigeria, all because of this. So they are sure. pretty oh, much. I remember, I remember uh, two years ago uh, when the whole thing started, when uh, the IPOB lawyers started going to prisons, Baba. People were declaring, they were declaring their children missing. They couldn't find their children in Eastern Nigeria, like mass missing, people missing. Until they got to know that, uh, ah, see you, you need to go to so so place. There are some people there. They said they were arrested for IPOB. Uh, their family members were not notified. He, These were people who have nothing to do with uh, physical, you know what I mean? All because I of this. I think I remember you. Eh? I think I remember you feature one of those either last year or year before the last we from know. where they took them from Ibo. No, this guy, guy, they took them from Ibo land. They took them to somewhere in the north or it's somewhere. Really, yeah. No, uh, they and were, they were women and, and men. And where? Uh -huh. And the place, the place is like people die there. Uh -huh. They just do anything, you know. Uh -huh. And we call it. We say, I'm, I'm, like I said. I was born and raised in Nigeria, but I'm ashamed to even to even be associated with anything Nigeria. I, I, I'm, I'm not. It's easier for me when I'm coming to Nigeria to just dust on my uh, my uh, Nigerian passport. No, I won't use Nigerian passport again. Never, ever. We got to start showing that okay, we have to start for something or we fall for anything. Because I don't understand. Is it is a kind of today? What about if it's your family tomorrow? What about if it's other people's family tomorrow? Because he says something they don't like and they just pick him up. And then you start lying and started killing people because of that and say they want to break Nigeria or oh, he's misleading young people. And he's doing this and, to young people and people are, are killing them. And people are people are people are still saying they are proud to be a Nigerian. In Nigeria, we are gumi can say anything, can come to his saying or whatever where he went the other day. Remember, that was an act of provocation. Can, can, but because you're can, are not, can uh, eat we, are, we are not we are not uh, extremists. That was an act of provocation. Can Igboho yeah. go to anywhere in Kano and just stand by, and stand by the passing post? Uh -huh. Don't bother anybody just to make some tape. Can anybody from the East travel to 
uh, Sokoto and say well. I be wrote to Emi okay. Okano say palace and say all that trash that they came to. Let's let's keep deceiving ourselves. Il est number fitom mo ilo ma wo. Il est number fitom mo ilo ma wo. Yeah. Yeah. So that yeah. Mo uh, the deals, the deals will the will, will dismantle will, uh, will, 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 will uh -huh. Yeah. Because this is all this. I mean, it, I've tried to rack my brain all around this thing, and I'm going crazy. And it just it's I just don't understand burning people's house, coming and you killing know, people. You now send, you now send uh, what do you call it? this northern eight ah. to go to the eastern Nigeria to go and provide security there. Do you also see that systemic uh, setup, sir? Eh? You yeah. bring Aruno, you bring Gabu, you bring all of them to, to the creek of Niger Delta, where you told them everybody there is Igbo. Eh? Musa that doesn't know that uh, the, the entire eastern Nigeria is not Igbo alone. Is there happy that is about to kill all the Igbo women and children who are harmless, not shooting at him, not stoning him. On behalf of Nigeria Nami, if she go ahead and do it, if and you are, if, happy. If, so that he can go we, back to his uh, if he can go back to Zamfara. Go back to Borono and tell his families. If, I killed about five of them. I killed twenty. Abi, you see, if it's if it's true that we are truly Nigerians and they want to copy the democracy in action, you can uproot a mechanized division or whatever they call them in America from Illinois mm. and go to California. To the federal government, you're not gonna go. Oh, we are from Illinois now. We are from Chicago, and we just gonna mow you down, you Californians. Mm -hmm. Oh, we are from we are from California. Been, you know, you, you 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 have been thinking you are special, and we Illinois. Yes. I mean, Illinoisans have been watching you. Now we have a chance to teach you a lesson. We are only obeying yes. orders, so we are not here because we are here to obey orders. But we hate you anyway. So if the other says we should kill you, we will not spare your children too. Is that not what it is? And tell us how that's going to bring peace to America or Americans. Eh? It's not. It, no, no, no. It's not even going to be. They would. They would. They would. They would, uh, they would not even. No, they, 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 they won't carry the other. No, there is no. No, no, there is no evil civil war. You remember when Donald Trump said uh, the military should do something? They just stand down. Like, hey, no, like, this no, is not. Mm -mm. No, we don't. We know. We know. We're not, we're like not getting involved. Be. We don't we don't even get involved in all that. No, don't get us involved. We don't get involved in anything, politics or whatever. We are here to defend be, America. Be, oh. eh? We are here to defend America against external and internal enemies. Hmm. That's what we sworn out to. Not for the people of Sokoto to go and kill people of Bini, mm -hmm. or people of Bini to go and kill people of Oyo. Oyo. Hmm. I, 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 look, the, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to call, but I'm just racking my brain. I just don't want to be. I think I, I just, always I have some just, points. See, Baba, I think I always have some uh, topic every morning that some of you might, you might plan to just want to listen. But at the end of the day, you end up having to grab yeah. your phone and say, I want to say something. I need to say I just something. grab my phone. Like, what the heck is going on? Because I didn't, I didn't know anything about uh, what do you call it? The Kano today, I didn't know. I was thinking it's next week. I, I don't know. I was thinking it's twenty three. Oh, I, I forgot 19. the date. Hmm. Ah, well, my ego. I give you a credit. I give you a credit, honestly, Thank because you. I don't know how you do it. I don't feel like getting out of bed. I can tell you right now. That's how I was so kind of. I'll I'm, tell I'm you, telling tell you. I'm calling to. you from my bed. I know. I'll tell you how to. The program itself is going to end uh, in another half an hour. Okay, you can still be with us and all that. But when you jump out of that bed, <sighs> go to the shower. I promise you, you will be awake in another five minutes. Eh? Uh -huh. I get with the part where you're like, man, it's so. When you begin to think, depression, it's so, depression, so depression, and, depression. You know. Windy City. Anyway, thank you very much. You thank you, you very much. You have a very wonderful You morning. too. Thank you, sir. So that's a Windy City from Chicago. Marzi again. I just want to hear his voice. I'm bringing more of this later this evening, by the way. And they know it very well. They know it very well. 
And I suspect that some people in government are complicit. They are making money with insecurity. That's correct. They are making money with it. They know now the can is outside. In two minutes, this nonsense will stop. Who is the idiot? Who is the bagger? That will, that will speak when I'm talking. Who, who is the fool? Who is the idiot? I ask. That I give an order in the east and any idiot will counter it. Who is the who is the bastard? I'm asking you. So, sir, Nobody you, can. Sir, are you against? I'm not the can. No. Who is the idiot? Form of violence or insecurity in the southeast. In the name of IPOP, is in front and they know that. Let me come out of this nonsense, this mess. Two minutes only. Only two minutes, I, I guarantee you. And at the peace in the east, not just south east. Everywhere in the east, even the entire south. See, I miss this man. I miss this guy. I'm so serious, right? Like, every one of you who know Namdi Kanu very well. This is why they don't like him. The guys, the guys speak with authority. He will say things, and he will say, yeah, I have said it. Any of you that, you know? And just like that, people will kind of follow him. I just remember asking that uh, if the criminals in Nigeria, the criminal ego politicians, if there's anything they should probably try to do is to study how Unam Dekanu was able to warm his way into the arts of millions of Igbos, and yet he never uses that to his own advantage. He has a chance to use this, you know, this influence to his own advantage. He never used it to his advantage. He never used any of it to pursue those he considered as uh, enemies, the enemies of Igbo people, the politicians in Eastern Nigeria. He never used it. They were so scared of him. That even non Igbos, those who are non Igbos who don't like Namdekanu, they have the reason why they don't like him is because of the way he talks. He talks with authority. Who is he? Who, do he th who, who, who does he think he is? He will just say something, something. He will just, yeah, yeah, yeah. When they couldn't figure it out, they said the Igbos are, the Igbos are zombies. Namdekanu just control them. They control them because they have no idea how he managed to win their trust. Hmm? I'm still working on it. It's incredible. Here is a caller <laughs> on the line. Hello there. Hello. My good general. Yes, sir. How are you? <laughs> fine, 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 fine. Grand. Sorry for keeping. Uh, it, okay, I just wanted to hear him speak. Uh, no, again, you know. Oh yeah. Go. It, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to call Miss this morning. I'll speak my little Yoruba and miss it with English and uh, well, or pitching we like that. Manage with that but Is that my fine? Friends are always so jealous <laughs> that you are leaving them out. My non Yoruba friends, right? They are so jealous. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, make some for us, Baba. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you look at the case of Indam Dekano, hmm. just try to study the case very well and look at it vividly. Do you think Indam Dekano will be released in the next four years? Hmm. Just a question. Uh, because, because I am emotionally attached, it's so difficult for me to make any clearer judgment because I do I do not want to think that an innocent man can be there okay. for another four years, but it is possible. By just let me not make a... You know, yeah, just let, let me make... Oh, I'm just mean. telling you the uh -huh. no, kind no, of you. I'm just saying that you know you are uh -huh. asking me right logically. Eh? Yeah, I would have clearly told mm -hmm. you what I feel. But I am I am emotionally invested in this Namdekano okay. issue per se, right? That I cannot give you a clearer judgment. But here is my own answer. All right, I know it is possible. Okay, but because I do not wish that, I do not want that to even. I can't even imagine it. Or because it is Nigeria, and for whatever political reason they will want to keep him there. I agree that it is possible. I just do not want to think it. But go on. Okay. Can you can you can you send your your uh, I will not say your son because your son can take your authority. Hmm. Can you send your puppet to do something and it will likely to change it on without your consent? That's impossible. That's why it's called a puppet. That's right? impossible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now you get to where I'm going to now. I think I am. Secondly. Hmm. And secondly, who are who who arranged for the kidnap and the deported of Inamdekano to Nigeria? Hmm. The same uh, Buhari and his gang, <laughs> <Malamu> and Co. 
Which you know, private jet? They said the private jet they use in bringing. <laughs> see, Baba, the private jet they use in bringing. Is the person on the seat? Eh? Is the person on the seat? Good. Go on. <laughs> so it's the seat. Is the person on the seat? Good. So that is the reason why I'm saying they just want to play ball. Like we are not keeping him there, letting him appear. This is what we do. Let them get the kind of hope. There's no green light yet, except their master said releasing. Mm. And uh, where the game is going to, remember, mm. remember, there's a guy at the capital there that they, both of them, Robin Are Snow, you? boasting their power. Okay. Hmm. It controls the judiciary. Party with where the wiki, that's oh. what we get better to be go. Where where the wiki mobilize so, <laughs> Come on, Baba. Hmm. Uh -huh. But the case is there. Baja is also there. You know. Uh -huh. So the game is even if Tinubu have a soft hand. Let me tell you about Tinubu. Hmm. He easily forget about things. Yeah. He easily forget about things. Right. As long as you are not coming back for him again. But let me tell you, they know the person they are dealing with. A lion does not relinquish his power. Except he's dead. Hmm. And who is this lion? <laughs> the mass, the, the one and only, the soldier, a lonely soldier of Africa. Hmm. Baba. A lion you know, never we, his power or his crown unless he's dead. Except he's dead. Right. Eh? I'm a, I'm a balloon sorrow. Hmm. Omo balon soro, eh? Omo akin kon kishojo, omo akin o kishojo, eh? Iye ba ba te mi mong ba dele jagoni. Kabiesi. Eh? So I told you about a week ago, two weeks ago, that they know there's a law in a lot of laws in Nigeria that we citizen doesn't even you know read about that doesn't know about. You know, there's there's not a way to get law for Nigeria. You'll be surprised. Nothing. But they've I, because I listened to I listened to someone day before yesterday saying it's because there's no there's no right to carry harm in Nigeria. Forget about it. Guy, you are a fool. There is a right to carry harm in Nigeria. It's only that the type of harm. I tell you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can carry it and put it in your vehicle. When the police meet you and saw they, they want you to go. Yeah, and I think it's only those ones who are like uh, politicians and few people who know about it's it. not my brother. And few people who are yeah, yeah, yeah. they take advantage of it. True, true. Uh -huh. they so they, 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 they know. They, guns, they, they know we don't they know. And the they house. told their people. Uh -huh. Yeah, they don't. They told their guys. Hmm. You have right. Go, go there. This is the money. Go and get it. Hmm. And the same people will come and face us and say, hey, "Do you think any government will allow anybody to carry gun?" <laughs> Same people who have the guns. That's because the, he, hmm. do, do you know? I, I do. I, I do tell my friends here that do you know we are fools. We hmm. just we go to school. We go to school. Uh, we don't know the purpose of we having the BSc, HND, OND. They know we don't. We only we only we only went to school to learn how to read and write. We are not educated because what they call education is that you, right. <laughs> that is why. Uh, in Nigeria, they will, they will do a budget padding. A common banking and finance student or an accountant cannot detect what is this. Hmm. What is this? That is why a propaganda can be fly out and a marketing student or international relations student cannot even decode and tell them this is rubbish. Uh -huh. And be able to differentiate between propaganda and facts. See, that, that is that is rubbish. That is why sometimes when I sit down and look at it, I was like, question our mm. education, Baba. Adulterated. We are, so can we agree mm. then that uh, not only, I mean, not that we are not educated, we are just miseducated. Uh, what I would say is that we are we are just a uh, self self centered uh, uh, woman being. You know, because that, that's the poor education as well. You know what somebody said about education? They said, education usually will not make you be greedy, selfish. It will make you humane. 
anything else that makes you none of these, right? Even if you are a PhD holder, whatever it is, right? Your education is a waste. Because greed, greed eh, reduces someone to just papers. Uh, greed, selfishness, that is, reduce, we reduce an educated that, man to ordinary paper. <laughs> money. Yeah. Baba? yeah, that is that is why that is why uh in the university that is where the corruption started. Yes. You can see the uh what they call the cost rep. They will know how to collect money for the lecturer, even the lecturer doesn't want to. The HOD, they want to gather money for the HOD to buy gifts for HOD so they can have mercy. Which mercy? You have read. So for the HOD to do them well and to part them, to part their their results, and that is why they cannot defend anything outside. I do call them empty scores. Mm. So we are not actually getting educated then. We are being socially conditioned. It's not like you are right. go to those places. Right. We are not getting education. They are just preparing us, conditioning us. Uh, yeah. We are going to like, you are. Eh? And that is why we have uh, <laughs> yeah, millions yeah. of graduates that have added absolutely <laughs> nothing to Nigeria. Almost nothing. We have engineers yeah, that, cannot that, that cannot, uh, you know, design roads, design bridges, design uh, houses and buildings. So you know what I mean? Design things that are made in Nigeria. So our education is... I do say something. I do say, I do say something. If you want to be a little bit of, uh, a little bit radical, you know, brilliant and uh, value your education. Hmm. If you can, if you can, if you can school in certain part of open states and not your states, mm. you will. Yeah. The person talking to you, why you go? Ego mo yen yen o mo. E je mi ni eh law. Well. Uh, eh. Ajo 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 bere ajo bere so shi ni. First kwa gospel church leg be so me. I'm gone. Mm. I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs> I am going to turn on my own uh, infrared right now, and I'm seeing if it's going to detect something. Do so you remember when I was being called your brother Shay, your brother Shay? When I was, uh, uh, if you know my you know. You, know. <laughs> you see why people? You see why? You know my see, Baba, that's why I told people. You know what I told people? Yeah, I said I have learned something. Okay, <laughs> that you should learn how to tell your own story. So that nobody else will kind of uh, lie on your behalf or lie against you. So when I say my stuff here, I know people out there that can say, "Ah, uh -uh, I remember that time." You would have to actually come uh, at some point to come over. Um, I I went to staff school, local government staff school. Staff school, FGC. Mm -hmm. No. Local government there, primary school. Oh, you mean that of the, Jimo... the model? I think we have a name for it. At the yeah. Eh? The staff school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but anyway, so uh, you are right. Oh, uh -huh. Us who actually I grew said... up and got raised around that area, we were raised right, Baba, including those who said, Man. Did, see. You know, even those whose parents could really, off. you know, those whose parents could really afford all of it, they still brought their children down there sure. to come and learn real life. Come, you know, go there, go to hostel. Or you go there, go and live with grandma. I have people whose parents sure. are like, uh, you know, like they're like a senior, um, what do you call it, senior uh, uh, managers, you know, directors in different, uh, what have you, outside, uh, you know, outside of the global, their children are there. Learning the basic things and, of and, life and all that, and it's one of the best time of my apart life. Apart from school, there, yeah. even if you are not, even if you are not being educated in in any of the schools in Odogbolu, mm -hmm. you want to be stuck in it. There's no way you will not get a sense in your score. No way, because life is seven no days there to teach you something. There is always going to be something you are doing. You know, these days that we see young people hanging about doing nothing. No, that wasn't it in our own time. There is always going to be something you have going to be somewhere. Unfortunately, things have really gone south, Baba. There's no you see. I, I learned something in the in that town market. Hmm. You cannot just go there and be whenever they tell you, "Hey, bro, that is fine." 
you can't go beyond that. No. If you go beyond that, you know what will happen. And that's you. So that is a lesson. That is a lesson to you. Oh, so okay. let's come back to our <laughs> let's come back to Thank ourselves. You very much, so, That's something, but you are still keeping me in the dark. And now you're gonna keep me busy all night. So begin to try to see. <laughs> well, it's great, Sean. No, man. that's why I say you you are my you are you are my own brother. So you know I, how it is. I know. If you remember, if you remember Jimo, you remember all this, uh, the Solanis, my, that's my set. Ah, okay. You are coming closer no. and closer, okay? And I'm going to uh -huh. get to it as soon as well, but I'm going to, I'm going to actually monitor that. We actually possibly need to have a chat. You know that? Yeah. Do, you, do you know, the name of our pastor is Pastor Fagbin, so... Yeah. Keep it at that. <laughs> okay. I'll leave it at that so that people here will not begin to say, uh, I know you have all left us uh, now. Been, uh, eh? Thank you so much. Anyway, eh? thank you so much. You're welcome, bro. You know what I mean? So you all take right. it easy, okay? Mm -hmm. Have a good one, okay? All right. Uh -huh. Nice yeah. one. Now, that's a brother who happened to be a normal bar. And I'm already picking the sort of a face. And I will finally get you, Baba. I will. Because we... Probably this will be the time I'm going to actually drag you to Glasgow as well. You will come down to uh, the UK as well and join us uh, uh, in the Yoruba Union Summit. And if you can't make it to the UK this year, I will probably will be attending the second of such a summit or conference in America next year. That's the plan. We'll have it in every city all over the world every year. And I will get to meet a lot of people. My own uh, supposed long-lost brothers. Brothers. Because we need... A lot of us who have money to uh, make something for ourselves all over the world to actually come together. You know that? Yes, we come together and we push and push on what we believe in. I believe in a sovereign Yoruba nation. There are other Yorubas who also believe in that too. Many, in fact. And then, you know, when we have a chance of all of us uh, coming together using, you know, it's like uh, what they say, the you know, time is everything, right? So the moment we are able to detect what has become our own uh, albatross, something that has become the barrier for the progression, the development of the indigenous people that are trapped in that contraption called Nigeria today. So if I can find my own brothers from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south, from everywhere that I can find them from, my dear Yoruba brothers and sisters, old and young, may female, rich, not so rich, okay? And the rest of us, just everyone that matters. If I have a chance of bringing all of us under one roof, right? I swear to God, I will never sort of pass it on. I won't miss it. And that's why August is something. August is uh, some month. And I would love to see a lot of us uh, make that a reality here in Glasgow. It is going to happen. Hello, good. Hello, sir. Baba. Hello, good afternoon, my good afternoon to you. How are you? Am I com am I coming out clear? Loud and clear. All of us can hear you. Baba. Okay. okay. I just tell you my name is Onyeka. Oh, I'm calling from the UK. Bless you, Onyeka. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Um, I'm uh, I'm uh, brought up in Lagos, Omo Yoruba. I see. Oh, my, 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 my. <laughs> yes, some of my friends call me Ijebibo, Ijebibo boy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this was supposed to be like a good old days where it was all pretty much like normal, where we all reflect uh, where we grew up. But these days, they are trying to make us even deny them. In fact, they even want us to hate ourselves more. But we were not raised that way. Uh, no, no, not at all. Over. Unless uh, Nigeria is so disappointing. Hey? Nigeria is so disappointing. You know, I used to be one of those people that believe so much in, oh, one Nigeria, Nigeria one day will be good. But, uh, <laughs> hmm. man, me, after wow. some time, I have to tell myself the hard truth. Oh. <laughs> and again, after listening to Mazin Nandekano, I knew that, no, 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 this man is, this man is God sent. Uh -huh. And no matter, whenever you listen to him, you will, you will come to understand that there's no other way out of uh, the quagmire we find ourselves uh, in Nigeria, you know? So, uh, you know, I've been his uh, agent follower, a supporter, uh, fat, an IPOB member. So 
Um, you know, so I believe so much. In you know, people like Biafra. Mr. who has a very amazing life, your life and every your, your business, your job and everything around you. You have yourself, uh, you have your life uh, figured out. But at the end of the day, your connection with uh, Nigeria is uh, the uh, unfortunateness that is associated with it in the end, right? You are a promoter or supporter of one Nigeria until you know better. So somebody like yourself who has your life and all of that going, and you ended up having to, uh, you know, respect somebody who took his time so much, okay, to show to all of us eh, what and what we are exposed to, the danger, whether we want to be, whether we want to agree that we are directly exposed to it or indirectly, but there is danger. Sure, you get eh? So some people are now wondering, how did you know the cannot convince you? In this, you are supposed to be a very okay person. They want people to believe that those who listen to Namdekanu are refrafs, illiterate, which is not true, right? So people like yourself, eh, for no, people let, like let, 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 to actually let, know let me, people like your, you know, the art of people like yourself. I mean, here you are. Let me oh, let me let me shock maybe let me maybe shock my some listeners. Yes, sir. You know, just because of what you mentioned that uh, people think that who are that are following as in Namdekanu are refrafs. Uh -huh. That is a big, down. big, big, big lie. I'm a professional in the UK. Yeah. To be to be honest with you, I'm a medical practitioner, not just a young, a young person, medical practitioner. Bless you. And experienced uh, experience and qualified, you know, uh, senior medical practitioner. You understand? See. So I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not by any means a refrat, you know, and I'm not a, an ignorant person. No, you're not. You understand? Yeah. Uh -huh. So we know what we know just like uh Mazin and Decano. Want to believe in one Nigeria, so I saw her that thinking that Nigeria probably will be it's better. Yeah. We, uh, we say work, let's make it work. But over the years, you come to realize that it's not, it's not going to work. No. It wasn't designed to work. No. You understand? You know, it was never designed to work. It was just a, an exper experiment by the, which you know, Western country, uh -huh. and it's designed in a way that that country is, is not really going to make head on. So the be the earlier we all realize that and decide to uh, you know uh, re reorganize things in a way that uh, we we, we favor Nigeria. And now they say, oh no no no, mm. Nigeria unity is not negotiable. Uh -uh. Which kind of relationship is this? You cannot mm. negotiate. You cannot leave. Abba. Then something exactly. Has to exactly. In, you know exactly so, exactly. See how that goes. See, thank you so much. It doesn't make sense. Uh -huh. let, let me just say uh, um, why I usually called. You know, I've been listening, following you, but I've not been calling bef before. I just like listening without uh, calling because I just enjoy your show. The reason why I actually call is because <clears throat> the voice of Mazin and the you played. You know, when he was just saying that uh, if you give him two minutes, uh, Eastern region will be peaceful. You know. That is simply the truth. And I want people to know that he's not saying that out of arrogance, no. out of annoyance. You might see him say, sound annoyed or <clears throat> saying things forcefully. All those things he's saying, I want people to, to know that why people, believe, why people obey him is not out of fear, or out of, uh, uh, out of um, you know, people are, are afraid that he might do something uh, uh, forcefully against them. No, people follow him out of respect, mm -hmm. out of love. Because no matter what he says, even though he's saying it forcefully and with authority, if you look at that words coming out from, from, from his mouth, it's actually wrapped yes. with a lot of love, a lot of wisdom, a lot of uh, virtuous things. And that's why people identify with him and why people follow him. And I, and I believe that, he, just as he said uh, in call today, if he comes out, just, even he said one minute, he said two minutes, I would say 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. What in that they can come out of the prison? 30 seconds every, there are everywhere is people. Are quickly going to begin to move their ways and move their business and all their terror out of that place, like like that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So um, you know, that's why because that tape you played was really emotional for me in the in a way in the sense that it connected with with me, you know, really. Even and uh, what I just went to him, he saw it as nonsense. What am I out of this nonsense? What am I out of this nonsense? <laughs> I will hand it. Like, why won't they let him go and hand it? it exactly. If Nigeria is making things worse for his, for herself, 
in the sense that even the small iota of respect you know one half one half for the country mm -hmm. before in the last in the last three years has even eroded completely because you look at what they are doing to their citizen you start wondering is it normal which kind of injustice is this you know it doesn't just make sense anymore look at the court ruling today mm -hmm. somebody that is supreme court supreme court of nigeria ruled that his bill was wrongly removed. Mm -hmm. a, a, a smaller court did not even want to see, toe the line of see, what the Supreme Court said. Hmm. See, denied it. The country is gone. Let's let just be, be truthful you know, to ourselves. Told there's, me, no, the there, there's no more where, country. A lawless no country. country where people, they go study law. Who is deceiving who? I don't know. I don't understand. Uh, okay, look at the Sharia, the Sharia that uh, the people that call themselves patriots are doing mm -hmm. in Lagos today. Mm -hmm. You start looking at it. Okay, now the restructuring Mantu, yeah. Mantu, Mantu has uh, expired. That one is no more in vogue. No. So the what is what is now in vogue is uh, a parliamentary mm -hmm. and uh, what they call it, referendum. Referendum. That is what is now new that constitution. Is, that is. No, that is what is in vogue now. The rainy one. Uh, very soon now. Very, very soon now. That one will realize again. Yeah, what that one they're going to bring up again. To start using. Oh, we'll, be the, we'll be the one that will discover another watch. And they will hijack it again. You get the drift, Baba. Okay. Now, only if okay, we don't pay attention, right? Now, then they fall again and again for these rogues. Okay? No, let's but see. We'll see. never keep shot, Baba. People just need to know. Must. Okay, Oshie, Oshie gone, okay. Uh, brother. Nice one, eh? right. well, thank okay. you so much. Yeah, you have a good one. Okay, uh, take it easy. Good, good day. Nice one, sir. Bye. So, uh, there you have a doctor who just uh, shared this afternoon with us, and that is where we're going to draw the curtain to or uh, draw the curtain to now. It's out uh, this afternoon, this morning. So, I am going to see you later. I've got another four hours to be back to you. Let's see what we we'll bring over then, because I am going to go try my best and bring more details from uh, Mazil Namdikanu's uh, court appearance today. And more as well. Thank you so much for being with me this afternoon, right? I am going to see you again uh, later. But you can still like and then uh, share this broadcast on your way out. I will see you again. Good morning. <laughs> My name is Nambekano, and the reason why we are here today is to protest the killing of innocent women and children, and men for that matter, all over Nigeria, especially in the northern part of Nigeria. We are not happy, we are not pleased with what is happening, and that is why we are here today. As you can see, there are a lot of Nigerians um, who are protesting about the killing of families, people who are determined to tear the country apart violently. And it is not something that we support. It is not something that we would like to see continue. And we are here today to send a clear message to the Nigerian government, to the High Commissioner, that what is happening in the country is unacceptable and we cannot accept it. If that continues, it will lead to the violent situation of the country. There will be no more Nigeria for anyone to go to. There will be no Nigeria for anyone to refer to. In fact, what is happening in Somalia today will be like a tea party. So we cannot allow this nonsense to continue. Something has to be done. And the consequences of the actions of terrorism in Nigeria must be driven home to the people so that even the terrorists themselves will be able to understand that there is no mileage in their government. The only thing they can accomplish is the breakup of Nigeria. If they think that they can cover people, if they think they can force people to be, to be coerced into a religion which is not theirs, then they are clearly mistaken. We are asking for peace, we are asking for people to get together, we are asking for everybody who loves Nigeria, who is associated with that country, to please prevail upon terrorism in Nigeria so we can bring it to an end. That is why a multitude of Nigerians are gathered here today. Shiri ya 
Ani esun lagi, ani esun lagi, ani 